Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you.
Hello, good morning. Uh, I greet you in the name of Jesus this morning. Ich grüße euch heute im Namen Jesus Christus. And I want to welcome you to our service this morning. Und ich möchte euch heute zum Gottesdienst begrüßen. Yeah, welcome into the presence of the Lord and to the house of the Lord. Seid willkommen in der Gegenwart Gottes und im Haus des Herrn. Uh, even those who are worshiping with us for the first time. Auch die, die heute mit uns zum ersten Mal anbeten. Uh, I see new faces. I uh, want to take this opportunity also to welcome you. Ich sehe neue Gesichter, darum möchte ich diese Gelegenheit nutzen, euch auch willkommen zu heißen. And to thank you that you chose to worship with us this morning. Und euch zu danken, dass ihr euch entschieden habt, heute mit uns anzubeten. Because we know that there are many churches you could have chosen to go. Denn ihr wisst, es sind viele Gemeinden, wo ihr euch entschieden hätt, hättet entscheiden können, hinzugehen. But you choose, you chose to come this Aber ihr, morning. Habt, ihr habt euch entschieden, hierher zu kommen heute. And you decided to come and worship with us. Und ihr habt euch entschieden, mit uns anzubeten heute. And we don't take it for granted. Und wir nehmen es nicht äh, einfach so hin. So we want to thank you and to tell you that uh, you chose the, the right place to come. Darum möchte ich euch danken und äh, dafür, dass ihr eben den richtigen Platz gewählt habt, anzubeten. Because the Lord has something good for you. Denn der Herr hat etwas Gutes für euch vorbereitet. This is the place where we lift up the name of the Lord. Das ist der äh, Ort, wo wir den Namen des Herrn erheben. And when we lift up his name, und wenn wir seinen Namen erheben, he draws men to himself. er zieht Menschen zu sich selbst. That is what his word says. Das ist das, was sein Wort sagt. Therefore we thank God this morning that when we have lifted up his name, darum danken wir Gott, dass wenn wir seinen Namen erhoben haben, he is lifting people to himself. Er zieht Leute zu sich selbst. He is not lifting you to us. Er, er zieht euch nicht zu uns. But he's lifting you to him. Aber er zieht euch zu ihm. Because this is a place that he has set aside for his own name. Denn das ist der Ort, den er für seinen eigenen Namen beiseite gesetzt hat. And thank you, even you who chose to come for the second and the third time. Und auch euch danke, die ihr zum zweiten oder dritten Mal hier seid. Even those who have decided to make this place their place of worship. Auch für die, die entschieden haben, diesen Ort, deren Ort der Anbetung zu machen. May the Lord bless you. Möge der Herr euch segnen. And even on this day, und auch an diesem Tag, he has good for each one of us. er hat etwas Gutes für jeden von uns vorbereitet. Und darum starten wir unseren Gottesdienst jetzt damit. And let our, lift our hearts unto the Lord this morning. Lass uns unsere Herzen zum Herrn erheben heute let Morgen. Let open our hearts this morning. Lass uns unsere Herzen öffnen heute let Morgen. Let us focus in a receiving mode this morning. Lass uns uns fokussieren auf eine Empfangsstellung heute yeah, Morgen. Yeah, because God has something for us once again. Denn Gott hat erneut etwas für uns heute. And I will ask you to rise up to your feet. Und ich möchte euch bitten, auf die Füße euch hinzustellen. As we pray. Werden wir starten mit dem Gebet jetzt. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, Vater, Name Jesus, we come before your presence this morning. Wir kommen heute vor deine Gegenwart. Because this is another Sunday that you have gathered us in your name. Denn es ist ein weiteres Mal, wo du uns in deiner Gegenwart zusammengeführt hast. Thank you that you have drawn us together from different places. Danke, dass du uns zusammengeführt hast von verschiedenen Orten. And you have brought us together once again that we may worship you. Und du hast uns wieder zusammengeführt, dass wir dich anbeten. And thank you for your word, for you said where two or three shall gather in your name. Und danke für dein Wort, wo sagst du zwei oder drei in deinem Namen zusammenkommen? There you shall be in their midst. Da bist du mitten unter ihnen. And thank you this morning that we are not two and we are not three. Und danke, dass wir heute nicht nur zwei oder drei sind. And we are gathered in your name. Und wir sind zusammengekommen in deinem Namen. And we have this divine assurance that you are here. Und wir haben diese göttliche Versicherung, dass du hier bist. And your spirit is also here together with us. Und dein Geist ist auch hier mit uns. And therefore we welcome you. Darum heißen wir dich willkommen. Father, we welcome you. Vater, wir heißen dich willkommen. Jesus, we welcome you. Jesus, wir heißen dich willkommen. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Heiliger Geist, wir heißen dich willkommen. As we commit this day before you. Wo wir heute an diesem Tag vor dich kommen. As we commit this service before you. Wenn wir diesem Gottesdienst vor dich kommen. That you may minister unto us. Dass du uns dienen möchtest. We surrender everything unto you. Wir geben alles dir hin. Even as we cast our cares unto you. Auch wenn wir jetzt eure Sorgen auf dich werfen. For you care for us. Denn du sorgst für uns. Thank you because you have something good for each one of us. Danke, dass du etwas Gutes für jeden von Thank uns hast. Thank you for those who are watching us. Online. Danke für die, die uns online zuschauen. Thank you for those who are on the way. Danke für die, die auf dem Weg noch sind. Because you shall continue to minister unto them. Denn wir werden weiter denen dienen. To the glory and to the honor of your name. Für die Herrlichkeit und Ehre As deines Namens. As we begin to look into your word, O oh God. Wenn wir jetzt anfangen, in dein Wort zu schauen, O oh Herr. As we come into your presence to pray. Wenn wir deine Gegenwart kommen zu beten. Raise the words of our mouth. Lass die Worte unseres Mundes. And the meditation of our, of our heart be acceptable unto you. Und das Nachsinn unserer Herzen an, wohlgefällig sein vor dir. And let the lifting of our hands. Und lass das Erheben unserer Hände. Be like an evening sacrifice. Wie ein lebendiges Opfer sein. Oh, because we have come to offer you a sacrifice that is holy and acceptable unto you. Denn wir sind gekommen, um dir ein Opfer darzubringen, das wohlgefällig und ac äh, akzeptabel ist. Let our service be acceptable unto you. Lass unser Gottesdienst dir wohlgefällig sein. Let our worship be acceptable unto you. Lass unser Lobpreis dir wohlgefällig sein. We do not know how to pray as we ought to. Wir wissen nicht, wie wir beten sollen. But we surrender ourselves to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Aber wir geben uns hin zur Führung des Heiligen Geistes. And that is why Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you in this praise. Darum heißen wir dich willkommen, Heiliger Geist. We surrender everything unto you that you may lead us. Wir geben alles dir hin, dass du uns leiten wird, mögest. Yeah, and we declare the counsel of the Holy Spirit is prevailing in this service and in this Day. Und wir proklamieren, dass die, der Rat des Heiligen Geistes heute hier Vorrang hat. Because we cannot do it with ourselves. Denn wir können es nicht aus uns selbst tun. That's why we surrender all unto you, our God. Darum geben wir dir alles hin, unser Holy Herr. Holy Spirit, we surrender unto you. Heiliger Geist, wir geben uns dir Fill hin. Fill this place, God, with your presence. Fill diesen Ort mit deiner Gegenwart, Gott. Fill this place with your Holy Spirit. Fill diesen Ort mit deinem Heiligen Geist. You who anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Du, der Jesus von Nazareth gesalbt hast. With the Holy Spirit and with the power. Mit dem Heiligen Geist und mit Kraft. And the Bible says he went doing good. Und die Bibel sagt, er ging und tat Gutes. Healing those that were oppressed of the devil. Diejenigen zu heilen, die unterdrückt waren vom Feind. For God was together with him. Denn Gott war mit ihm. And Father, we thank you this morning. Und Vater, wir danken dir heute Morgen. We receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Wir empfangen die Salbung des Heiligen Geistes. We receive the power of God. Wir empfangen die Kraft Gottes. Even the power that heals. Selbst die Kraft, die heilt. Even the power that sets free. Selbst die Kraft, die freisetzt. Even the power that delivers. Selbst die Kraft, die befreit. We declare that anointing and that power is here this morning. Wir deklarieren, dass diese Salbung und diese Kraft heute hier ist. And that is why we thank you even as we sit down to hear from you. Und das ist, warum wir dir danken, auch wenn wir uns hinsetzen, um von dir zu hören. And we worship you, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Und wir beten dich an, Herr, im Namen Jesus. Amen. 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 Let's just give a hard clap unto the Lord this morning. Lass uns einfach einen Applaus zu dem Herrn geben heute Morgen. Amen. Amen. I would ask you to take your seat. Ich möchte, ich bin, ihr könnt euch hinsetzen. You can sit down and open your Bible as we go to the Word of God. Ihr könnt euch hinsetzen und die Bibel öffnen, wenn wir jetzt ins Wort Gottes gehen. In the book of Luke chapter 13. Im Buch Lukas Kapitel 13. The book of Luke chapter 13 and verse 11. Lukas 13 Vers 11. Luke 11 and uh, Latin and verse 11 and the Bible says und die Bibel sagt And behold there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself Und siehe da war eine Frau die seit 18 Jahren einen Geist der Krankheit hatte und sie war verkrümmt und konnte sich gar nicht aufrichten 
And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art roost from your infirmity. Als nun Jesus sie sah, rief er sie zu sich und sprach zu ihr, Frau, du bist erlöst von deiner Krankheit. And the Bible says in verse 16, und die Bibel sagt in Vers 16, Ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, who Satan has bowed, lo, these 18 years, be loosed from board on the Sabbath day. Diese aber, eine Tochter Abrahams, die der Satan, siehe, schon 18 Jahre gebunden hielt, sollte sie nicht von dieser Bindung gelöst werden am Sabbattag? In this scripture we read about Jesus going to the synagogue one day. In dieser Schriftstelle lesen wir davon, wie Jesus an einem Tag zur Synagoge ging. And in this Sabbath, it was a Sabbath day. Es war ein Sabbattag. And there came also a woman who the Bible says she was at the infirmity for 18 years. Und es kam auch eine Frau und die Bibel sagt uns, dass sie seit 18 Jahren eine Krankheit hatte. And she encountered Jesus in the synagogue. Und sie traf Jesus in der Synagoge. And the Bible says that this infirmity has held her for 18 years. Und die Bibel sagt, dass diese Krankheit sie gebunden hielt seit 18 Jahren. And when Jesus saw her, und als Jesus sie sah, he called her out. Er rief sie raus zu sich. Looking at this scripture, wenn wir diese Schriftstelle anschauen, we find something called infirmity. Wir finden etwas, was sich Krankheit nennt oder Schwäche. We call it in a nice name infirmity. Wir nennen es ein, ein schönes Wort mit Krankheit oder Schwäche. Sickness. Krankheit. Diseases. Krankheit. That is what we call them in a normal world. Und das ist, wie wir es in einer normalen Welt nennen. And when we look at a woman who is bowed, the Bible says she was bowed that she could no way rise up. Und wir schauen auf eine Frau, die gekrümmt war. Und sie war so gekrümmt, dass sie sich auf keine Art und Weise aufrichten konnte. So, that means her backbone was bent. Das heißt, ihr Rückenmark oder Rückenknochen war ge gebeugt. And this infirmity or this disease has made her not to rise up in any way. Und diese Schwäche oder Krankheit hat dafür gesorgt, dass sie sich auf keine Art und Weise aufrichten konnte. And I can imagine somebody being bent that you are always looking on the ground and you cannot rise up in any way und ich kann mir vorstellen wie es ist wenn du runtergebeugt bist und du schaust die ganze Zeit nur auf den Boden und du kannst dich auf keine Art und Weise irgendwie aufrichten We, it is called a disease that a disease maybe of the backbone according to my health research or my knowledge as a doctor <lacht> und es, man nennt es eine Krankheit von vom Rückenmark oder von von dem äh, so von den Knochen eben soweit ich weiß nach meinem nach meinen Nachforschungen that is what we call because we see a disease and we want to give it a name das ist wie wir es nennen denn wir sehen eine Krankheit und geben ihm einen, einen Namen and jesus says that this was not a disease but it is called the spirit of infirmity und Jesus sagt uns, das ist keine Krankheit, es ist der Geist der Schwäche oder Geist der Krankheit. It was not a disease, it was a spirit of infirmity that has bowed this woman for 18 years. Es war keine Krankheit, es war ein Geist der Krankheit, der diese Frau seit 18 Jahren gebeugt hatte. And this spirit had made sure that she could not rise up in any way. Und dieser Geist hat sichergestellt, dass sie auf keine Art und Weise sich aufrichten konnte. And when I look at somebody who is bent all your life that you cannot rise up. Und wenn ich auf eine Frau schaue oder eine Person schaue, die gebeugt ist und sich ihr ganzes Leben nicht aufrichten kann, It means she could not work. das heißt, sie konnte nicht arbeiten. She could not even take care of her family. Sie konnte nicht mal sich um ihre Familie kümmern. She could not even look at herself in the mirror. Sie konnte sich nicht mal im Spiegel anschauen. Because she was always bent. Denn sie war die ganze Zeit nach unten gebeugt. It means she could, nobody could even see her to help her. Niemand konnte sie überhaupt sehen, um ihr zu helfen. Because she could only see somebody who was bowed. Denn du kannst immer nur jemanden sehen, der, der runtergebeugt All war. All she could see was down. Alles, was sie sehen konnte, war unten. Or All she could look was the earth, down where there was nothing. Alles was sie sehen konnte war die Erde unten wo nichts war. She could no way lift herself up. Sie konnte in keiner Weise sich erheben. And what we see here, was wir hier sehen, that this spirit had made her not to rise up in any way. Dass dieser Geist dafür gesorgt hat, dass sie sich auf gar keine Art und Weise aufrichten konnte. And you can imagine how many problems she had. 
Und du kannst dir vorstellen, wie viele Probleme sie hatte. Being in, this situation, in dieser Situation zu sein. 18 years. Für, für 18 Jahre. And the Bible tells us this morning, Und die Bibel sagt uns heute Morgen. This is a spirit. Das ist ein Geist. That has oppressed this woman for 18 years. Dass diese Frau seit 18 Jahren bedrückt hat. That she could no way rise up. Dass sie auf keine Arbeit mehr She could no konnte. way work. Sie konnte nicht arbeiten. She could no way help herself. Sie konnte sich nicht selber helfen. She could no way fulfill her destiny. Sie kann ihre Bestimmung nicht Because erfüllen. Because there is a spirit that had afflicted her for 18 years. Da, da ist ein Geist, der sie bedrückte für 18 Jahre. And this spirit had made sure that she could not rise in any way. Und dieser Geist stellte sicher, dass sie sich auf keine Weise aufrichten konnte. And what I want to tell you this morning. Und was ich euch heute sagen möchte. There are things that prevail in our lives. Das sind Dinge, die in unserem Leben bestehen. And any situation that you see that is persistent. Und jede Situation, die du siehst, die uh, persistent ist. There is a spirit behind it. Da ist ein Geist dahinter. Because we have also been taught in this church. Denn wir haben, wurden in dieser Gemeinde auch belehrt, that life is spiritual. dass das Leben geistlich ist. Life is spiritual. Das Leben ist geistlich. The way you see it here, Wie du es hier siehst, it has been already programmed in the spirit. Du ha, es wurde bereits im Geist programmiert. What we see here is the manifestation. Was wir hier sehen, ist die Manifestation. But things happen and they begin in the spiritual realm. Aber Dinge beginnen im Geist, in der geistigen Welt. We see this woman now being oppressed. Wir sehen diese Frau, die jetzt bedrückt ist. But there was a spirit behind her for a long, long time. Aber da war ein Geist hinter ihr für eine lange that Zeit. That was programmed over her life. Der über ihr Leben programmiert wurde. And this spirit had made sure that she could not rise. Und dieser Geist stellte sicher, dass sie sich nicht aufrichten konnte. If you see problems and situations in your life, wenn du Probleme und Situationen in deinem Leben siehst, many times you call them by name. Oft du nennst sie beim We Namen. try to address them by a name. Wir versuchen sie zu adressieren mit einem Namen. We call a sickness by a name. Wir nennen eine Krankheit mit einem Namen. We call a situation by a name. Wir nennen eine Situation mit Namen. And we say this person has been suffering from depression. Und wir sagen, diese Person leidet unter Depression. We say this person is bound by alcohol. Wir sagen, diese Person ist äh, von Alkohol gebeugt. And we have name for all situations and diseases. Und wir haben Namen für alle Situationen und Krankheiten. But this morning I'm telling you behind every situation there is a spirit behind it. Aber heute Morgen sage ich dir, hinter jeder Situation ist ein Geist. Because life is spiritual. Denn das Leben ist geistlich. Life is spiritual. Le Leben ist geistlich. Whatever you see happening here in the spirit, was, in, the, in, the, in the normal world, in was, the physical, was immer du siehst in der physischen normalen Welt, has been programmed in the spirit. Wurde im Geist programmiert. And this one, it does not talk about the people who are out there. Und die Bibel hier redet nicht über die Leute draußen. It talks about Children of God. Es redet über die Kinder Gottes. And that one I know because this woman was in the temple. Und das weiß ich, weil diese Frau im Tempel war. This woman was in the church. Sie war in der Gemeinde. And Jesus came on this day of Sabbath. Und Jesus kam an diesem Tag des Sabbats. And the Bible talks of in this temple, in this synagogue, there was the ruler of the synagogue. Und äh, die Bibel spricht darüber, dass in dieser Synagoge der der Leiter der Gemeinde. Yes, was the ruler of the synagogue. Da war der Leiter der Gemeinde. The Bible talks there was the ruler of the synagogue who was not happy that Jesus healed this woman on the Sabbath. Da war der Jesus am Sabbat geheilt hatte. Because he was concerned about the rules of the Torah or the rules they were, they were following. Denn er machte sich Sorgen über die Gesetze oder Gedanken über die Gesetze, die in der Tora standen. And according to him, they were not supposed to work on a Sabbath day. Und die sind zufolge war man nicht war es nicht erlaubt, dass man am Sabbat arbeitet. And he was not happy that Jesus was healing this woman on a Sabbath day. Und er war nicht glücklich darüber, dass Jesus diese Frau am Sabbat geheilt hat. And that is what I'm telling you. Und das ist was ich euch heute sage. This oppression was happening to a child of God. Diese Unterdrückung geschah zu einem Kind Gottes. And in verse 16 the Bible says that this was a daughter of Abraham. Und in Vers 16 heißt es, dass diese eine Tochter Abrahams war. It means she was a child of the promise. Es bedeutet, sie ist eine Tochter der Verheißung. She was not a sinner. Sie war keine Sünderin. And yet the enemy had afflicted her in the kingdom of God as a child and a daughter of Abraham. Und trotzdem hat der Feind sie als Tochter Gottes im Reich Gottes Has unterdrückt. Her for 18 years. Er hat sie unterdrückt für 18 Jahre. And making sure that she could no way rise. Und sichergestellt, dass sie sich auf keine Weise aufrichten konnte. And that is why I'm telling you this morning. Und das ist was ich euch heute morgen sage. That you as a child of God. Dass ihr als Kinder Gottes. There could be situations in your life. Es könnten Situationen in eurem Leben sein. There situation that you confront. Das sind Situationen, die du konfrontierst. And do you know many times the enemy makes us feel as if we are not walking right with God. Und wisst ihr, oft äh, lässt der Feind uns denken, wir laufen nicht richtig mit Gott. Because there are situations that are confronting us in our life. Denn das sind Situationen, die uns im Leben konfrontieren. But I am telling you this morning that Satan is able to oppress people. 
Aber ich sage dir heute Morgen, dass Satan in der Lage ist, Leute zu unterdrücken. Satan is able to oppress the children of God. Satan ist in der Lage, Kinder Gottes zu unterdrücken. And that is why this morning we are the spirit of God is revealing to us. Darum äh, äh, offenbart uns der Geist Gottes heute, dass da Dinge im geistigen, in der geistigen Welt sind, die der Feind gegen uns nutzen kann. Even as the children of the promise. Selbst als Kinder der Verheißung. Making sure that we do not achieve our destiny according to the plan of God. Und er stellt sicher, dass wir nicht unsere Bestimmung erreichen, wie der Plan Gottes es vorsieht. Und manchmal sehen wir Leute, die fragen, warum leidest du, obwohl du ein Kind Gottes bist? Why do you have situations and yet you believe in God? Warum hast du solche Situationen und beglaubst immer noch an Gott? But that does not mean that because you are going through things, that God is not with you. Aber es das heißt nicht, dass wenn du solche, solche Sachen gehst, It dass Gott not, nicht mit dir ist. Does not mean that God has not called you. Es heißt nicht, dass Gott dich nicht berufen hat. Because battles do not determine whether God is with you or not. Denn Kämpfe bestimmen nicht, ob Gott mit dir ist oder nicht. Because God is able to deliver you. Denn Gott ist in der Lage, dich zu befreien. God is able to set you free. Gott ist in der Lage, dich freizusetzen. Sometimes let me tell you, what cannot be tested cannot be trusted. Und manchmal, ich sage euch, was nicht getestet wurde, kann, dem kann nicht vertraut werden. Sometimes you have to go through situation for God to test you. Manchmal musst du durch Situationen gehen, damit Gott dich testet. But that does not mean that God is not with you. Aber das heißt nicht, dass Gott nicht mit dir ist. But if you realize that there is a spirit behind it, aber wenn du feststellst, dass da ein Geist dahinter ist, you are able to rise up and confront this power. Du bist in der Lage, aufzustehen und diese Kraft zu konfrontieren. This power that does not want you to rise up. Diese Kraft, die nicht will, dass du aufstehst. This power that want to oppress you. Diese Kraft, die dich unterdrücken will. You are able to rise up. Du bist in der Lage, aufzustehen. And you are able to confront this power. Du bist in der Lage, diese Kraft zu konfrontieren. So that you are able to fulfill your destiny. So dass du deine Bestimmung erfüllen kannst. So you are able to achieve what God had planned for you. So dass du erreichen kannst, was Gott für dich geplant Because hat. Because we find this was a daughter of Abraham. Denn wir, find, wir sehen, diese war eine Tochter Abrahams. That Satan had oppressed. Die Satan mit Satan oppresses people. Satan bedrückt Menschen. Satan can hold people captive. Satan kann Menschen gefangen halten. Satan can yoke people. Satan kann Menschen unterjochen. Yoke, yes, Satan can put people in chains. Satan kann Menschen in, in Ketten legen. The way she had, they have done to this woman. So wie er es mit dieser Frau getan hat. And some of them it is not because of our own doing. Und bei manchen ist es nicht wegen unserer eigenen Taten. That is why I'm telling you life is spiritual. Deswegen sage ich, das Leben ist geistig. And I was listening to a the, 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 the teaching that the man of God was preaching this this week. Und ich äh, hörte mir die ähm, Lehre an, die der Mann Gottes diese Woche brachte. And I would want you to encourage, to encourage you this morning. Und ich möchte euch heute morgen ermutigen. Those are the kind of teaching that you listen and you start praying because it was such a revelation for me. Diese sind die Arten von Lehren, die du hörst und du beginnst einfach zu beten, weil es war eine Offenbarung für mich. Because he was telling us there are things which are programmed on the earth. Denn er sagte uns, dass es Dinge gibt, die auf der Erde programmiert sind. Do you know there are things that are programmed in the sun, in the moon and in the stars? Weißt du, dass es Dinge gibt, die programmiert sind in Sonne, Mond und Sternen? Do you know there are things that came through us, through our family lineage and through the bloodline where we come from? Weißt du, dass es Dinge gibt, die durch unsere Familienlinie, durch unser Blut in, zu, in uns gekommen sind? Do you know there are programs that are programmed even the nations where we are and we are not able to prosper as the body of Christ? Weißt du, dass es Dinge, die programmiert sind in unserer Nation und dass wir einfach nicht vorankommen können als Kinder Gottes? And that is why you need to rise up and begin to confront these powers. Und das ist, warum du aufstehen musst und anfangen musst, diese Mächte zu konfrontieren. These situations that are programmed against you and they have oppressed you so that you are not able to rise. Diese Situationen, die dich bedrücken und die dafür sorgen, dass du nicht in der Lage bist, dich aufzurichten und aufzustehen. Some of them are a result of sin. Manche von denen sind äh, ein, eine, They are a result of sin, that, eine, eine, eine um, Folge von Sünde. They are things that came through our families. Das sind Dinge, die durch unsere Familie kamen. And we are suffering through them. Und wir leiden durch diese. And we are not aware. Und wir sind uns dem nicht bewusst. But this morning the Spirit of God is opening our eyes to see. Aber heute Morgen öffnet uns der Geist Gottes die Augen zu sehen. That there are spirits that can rise against us and put us in oppression. Dass da Geister sind, die gegen uns aufstehen können und uns in Bedrückung tun können. And the Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter one, uh, chapter eleven and verse two. Und die Bibel sagt in Psalm 11, Vers 2. We can read that scripture. The Psalms just quickly. Was, uh, chapter 11 and verse 2. Wir können das schnell aufschlagen, Psalm 11, Vers 2, zumindest im Englischen. Because sometimes we do not just, just suffer because it's our, our own doing. Denn manchmal leiden wir nicht, weil es unsere eigenen ähm, Taten sind. But because there are situations that are against us. Aber weil da Situationen sind, die gegen uns stehen. Which are not even our response. It is not because we are at fault. 
Es ist nicht, weil wir falsch liegen. And the Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter chapter 11. Und die Bibel sagt im Psalm 11 in verse 2. In verse 2. For lo the wicked bed their bows they make ready their arrows upon the string that they may privately shoot at the upright in heart. Denn siehe, die Gottlosen spannen ihren Bogen. Sie haben ihre Pfeile auf die Sehne gelegt, um im Verborgenen auf die zu schießen, welche aufrichtigen Herzens sind. In was says, Und Vers 3 sagt, If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Wenn die Grundfesten eingerissen werden, was soll der Gerechte tun? Sometimes it is the foundations that are destroyed. Manchmal sind es die Grundfesten, die zerstört sind. It is maybe not even us, but wherever we come from and wherever we are we are built from, it is where the destruction comes from. Manchmal sind es nicht wir, aber es ist das, wo wir herkommen und die Grundfesten, auf denen wir gebaut wurden, die zerstört sind. And because of that, we find ourselves in oppression. Und darum finden wir uns selbst in Unterdrückung. And because this spirit of the enemy have this regal ground, they come to afflict us. Und weil die Geister des Feindes diese diesen legale Rechte haben, kommen sie, um uns zu bedrücken. Because our foundations are destroyed. Denn unsere Grundfesten sind eingerissen. Because where we come from, there is something wrong about it. Denn da, wo wir herkommen, da ist irgendwas falsch. And the Bible asks a question. Und die Bibel stellt eine Frage. If the foundations be destroyed, wenn die Grundfesten eingerissen werden, what can the righteous do? Was soll der Gerechte tun? If there is something that happened where you come from, wenn da etwas passiert ist, wo du herkommst, and you are suffering because of it, und du leidest deshalb, and now you are a child of God, und jetzt bist du ein Kind Gottes, the Bible asks, die Bibel fragt dich, what can you do about it? Was kannst du dagegen tun? This was the daughter of Abraham. Sie war die Tochter Abrahams, and the spirit of infirmity had oppressed her. Und der Geist der Krankheit hat sie bedrückt. Und sie ist jeden Sonntag in die Synagoge gegangen. And in this synagogue there was a man of God. Und in dieser Synagoge war ein Mann Gottes. But she could not be healed. Aber sie konnte nicht geheilt werden. Because her problem was not sickness. Denn ihr Problem war nicht die Krankheit. It was a spirit of infirmity that has been programmed over her life. Es war ein Geist der Krankheit, der über ihr Leben programmiert wurde. A spirit that had continued to afflict her for a long, long time. Ein Geist, der sie für eine sehr, sehr lange Zeit bedrückte. And she didn't know how to do it until what to do until Jesus came. Und sie wusste nicht was zu tun bis Jesus kam. And cast out this spirit of infirmity out of her life. Und äh, er hat diesen Geist der Krankheit aus ihrem Leben ausgetrieben. That is what I'm telling you this morning. Das ist was ich dir heute morgen what sage. What can you do if there is something that is working against your life and it is not your fault? Was kannst du tun, wenn da etwas ist, was gegen dein Leben arbeitet und es ist nicht dein Fehler? In this nation do you know even at a time like this to open your eyes? In einer Nation wie diese kannst du deine Augen öffnen. Sometimes we look at things in the natural and we give them names like the names we are calling now Halloween. Manchmal sehen wir Dinge und wir geben den Namen wie das was jetzt gleich was bald passiert ist October. Halloween. Es ist Oktober. When the powers of darkness are being active now calling themselves under the name of Halloween but this is a spirit of the enemy. Wenn die Kräfte der Finsternis aktiv werden und sie nennen sich selbst bei dem Namen Halloween, aber eigentlich ist es, ist es ein böser Geist. And they conduct their rituals right now. Und sie tun ihre Rituale jetzt Because gerade. Because this is the month of October when the work of the wickedness is very active from witchcraft. Denn es ist der Monat Oktober, wenn die Werke der Hexerei sehr aktiv sind. And they release things into the spirit. Und die lassen Dinge frei im Geist. And we are the citizens of this nation. We are living in this nation. Und wir sind die Bürger dieses dieser Nation. Wir leben in dieser Nation. And for one way or another, we become victims of the powers of the wicked. Und ein oder die anderen Weg, wir werden Opfer dieser Mächte der Dunkelheit. Because when they release things in the spirit, we become victims because evil has entered. Und wenn sie diese Dinge freilassen im Geist, werden wir Opfer, weil böse Sachen eingetreten sind. And there is one thing that we can do. Und da ist eine Sache, die wir tun können. We can rise up. Wir können aufstehen. Because we have our Lord Jesus Christ. Denn wir haben unseren Herrn Halleluja. Jesus Christus. And he has given us the power. Und er hat uns die Kraft gegeben. And the Bible says on that day Jesus cast out this spirit of infirmity. Und die Bibel sagt an diesem Tag Jesus trieb diesen Geist der Krankheit aus. And even when the ruler of synagogue was not happy about it. Und selbst wenn das Synagogen der nicht fröhlich war darüber. The Bible says in verse 16. Die Bibel sagt in Vers 16. Jesus was asking the question. Jesus, Jesus stellte die Frage. Should this daughter of Abraham? Sollte diese Tochter Abrahams, who has been afflicted by Satan, die von Satans äh, bedrückt wurde, be set free? Sollte sie nicht freigesetzt werden? I am telling you this morning when the foundations are destroyed. Ich sage dir heute morgen, wenn die Grundfesten eingerissen sind. When there are situations that are beyond our control, 
have been operating against us. Wenn da Situationen sind, die Kontrolle haben und gegen uns äh, operieren, there is something we can do. Da ist etwas, was wir tun können. We can rise up. Wir können aufstehen. Amen. We can enter into the time of prayer. Wir können in eine Gebetszeit eingehen. And we can engage the powers of darkness in the realms of the spirit. Und wir können gegen diese böse Mächte der Finsternis eintreten. And we can cast them out because we have been given dominion and we have been given power. Und wir können diese austreiben, weil uns Macht und Herrschaft gegeben worden ist. And we can take authority and dominion as the children of God. Und wir können Autorität und Herrschaft einnehmen als Kinder Gottes. Against the powers of darkness. Gegen die Kräfte des Feindes. And we can rise up and declare. Und wir können aufstehen und deklarieren. Any power that has kept me down. Jede Kraft, die mich runtergedrückt hat. Any power that not want me to rise. Jede Kraft, die nicht will, dass ich aufstehe. I come against it. Ich komme gegen es. Amen, I come Amen. against it. Ich komme gegen dich. I overrule it. Ich überschreibe dich. I come Against ba, 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 it. Ich komme gegen dich. In the name of Jesus Christ. Im Namen Jesus Christ. Are you tired of affliction? Bist du müde der Unterdrückung? Are you tired of battles? Bist du müde von Kämpfen? Are you tired of the oppression of the enemy? Bist du müde von der Bedrückung des Feindes? You can arise this morning. Du kannst jetzt aufstehen. And you can declare. Und du kannst deklarieren. I am a daughter of Abraham. Ich bin eine ich Tochter bin ein Abraham. Abraham. And this morning you are not just a daughter, you are a child of God. Und diesen Morgen du bist nicht eine Tochter, du bist ein Kind Gottes. You can declare I am a child of the Most High God. Deklarieren, ich bin ein Kind des Allerhöchsten Gottes. And I to be set free. Und ich verdiene es, freigesetzt zu werden. I can be set free. Ich kann freigesetzt werden. I am a child of Abraham. Ich bin ein Kind Abraham. I am a child of God. Ich bin ein Kind Gottes. I can be set free. Ich kann freigesetzt werden. And you can tell the Lord this morning. Und du kannst dem Herrn heute Morgen sagen. I break free from every power. Ich breche frei von jeder Kraft. I break loose from every oppression. Ich breche los von jeder Unterdrückung. Every power that has held me. Jede Kraft, die mich gedrückt, gehalten hat. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, chapter 3. Die Bibel Kraft sagt im Psalm 3, but thou, O oh Lord, aber du, O oh Herr, you are a shield for me. Du bist ein Schild für mich. You are my glory. Du bist meine Herrlichkeit. And you are the lifter of my head. Und du bist der, der mein Haupt erhebt. The Lord is the lifter of your head der this Herr morning. Der, derjenige, der euer Haupt erhebt heute Morgen. The Lord is thy shield. Der Herr ist dein Schild. He is your glory. Er ist deine Herrlichkeit. And he is the lifter of your head. Und er ist der, der dein Haupt erhebt. Your head cannot go down. Dein Kopf kann nicht runtergehen. You cannot continue looking down. Du kannst nicht weitermachen nach oben You cannot be bent down. Du kannst nicht runtergebeugt werden. The enemy I cannot press you down. Der Feind kann dich nicht runterdrücken. For thou, O Lord, a shield for me. Dein Du, O Herr, bist ein Schild für mich. You are my glory and you are the lifter of my head. Du bist meine Herrlichkeit und der mein Haupt erhebt. You can tell the Lord, lift my head this morning. Du kannst sagen, Herr, erhebe mein Haupt heute Morgen. Lift my head this morning. Erhebe mein Haupt heute Morgen. Wherever the enemy had to put me down. Wo immer der Feind mich runtergedrückt hat. I declare this morning. Und deklariere heute Morgen. That thou, O Lord, you are my glory and you are the lifter of my head. Das Du, Herr, du bist meine Herrlichkeit. My head shall be lifted up. Mein, He mein Haupt soll erhoben sein. My head shall be lifted up. Mein Haupt soll erhoben werden. My head shall be lifted up. Mein Haupt soll erhoben werden. My head shall be lifted up. Mein Haupt soll erhoben werden. My realm shall be lifted up. Mein Haupt soll erhoben werden. My children shall be lifted up. Meine Kinder sollen erhoben werden. This church shall be lifted up. Diese Gemeinde soll erhoben werden. Tabernacle church we shall be lifted up. Alle sollen erhoben werden. We shall be lifted up in this region. Wir sollen erhoben werden in dieser Region. For the Lord is our glory. Denn der Herr ist unsere Herrlichkeit. He is our shield. Er ist unser Schild. And he is the lifter of our heads. Er ist der Erheber unseres Hauptes. Let us begin to pray this morning Father in the name of Jesus we declare this morning any oppression that oppressed any of us we declare we have come into your presence this morning and you are here this morning and you are saying as a children of Abraham we deserve to be delivered we deserve to be set free we take the dominion of authority, even as the children of God. We take authority as a church of God, and we declare in the name of Jesus, we shall not be oppressed. We shall not be oppressed. Any power that has held us down, we break rules. We break rules. We break rules. We break rules. Wir brechen durch in alle Bereiche unserer Leben. In Namen Jesus Christus. Wir brechen durch. Wir brechen durch. Halleluja. Wir brechen durch. Wir brechen durch. Wir brechen durch. Für den Herrn, der unsere Glory ist. Und wir brechen durch. 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 Wir br
Amen. Wenn die Grundfeste eingerissen sind, When the foundations are being broken was soll der Gerechte machen? What shall the righteous do? Was sind die Grundfeste deines Lebens? What are the foundations of your Aus welchen Fundamenten besteht dein Leben? On which foundations are your Aus welchen Fundamenten built? besteht deine Familie? On which foundations is your Aus welchen built? Fundamenten besteht dein Dienst? On which foundations is Aus welchen Fundamenten besteht deine Ehe? Or your marriage? Liebe Geschwister, es ist ein Thema, was mich sehr viel bewegt hat. Ich bin, äh, Gott hat mich geführt, durch meinen Beruf weltweit zu reisen. Und ich bin ob in Nordamerika, Südamerika, in Asien, überall, wo ich gewesen bin. Gott hat mich in Gemeinde geführt. Und ich kam in die Gemeinde. Ich dürfte ob Pastoren I often was allowed to meet pastors Familien, or families die, um, eingerissen waren, who were broken. Erleben. Aber das Problem ist, problem is, wenn man keine Erkenntnis hat, wie die, unsere Schwester gesagt hat, like said, man wird immer Namen finden für irgendetwas. Ich erinnere mich, remember, ich kam in eine Gemeinde church, und der Herr gab mir, öffnete meine Augen und ich sah eyes, etwas in eine Ehe. Und diese Ehe war am Zusammenbrechen. Das bedeutet, der Mann hat A gesagt, so the man said a, die Frau hat B verstanden. Die Frau hat B gesagt, B, der Mann hat A verstanden. A. Und, ich hab, und während der Dienst, the ministry, ich habe beide vorne, I both to the front, und ich habe die geza geza I, gezeigt, I them, es gibt einen Geist in eurer Mitte. Und dieser Geist bekämpft die Ehe. Es gibt Geister, die Ehe bekämpfen. Es gibt Geister, die deine Geschäfte bekämpfen. Es gibt Geister, die deine Kinder bekämpfen. In unserem Leben, durch unsere Vergangenheit, wir sind vorprogrammiert vom Satan in die Welt, nicht durchzubrechen. Aber wenn wir in Christus kommen, wir erleben Jesus in unserem Geist. Wir sind bekehrt in dem Geist. Aber wenn wir bekehrt sind, eine Reinigung muss stattfinden. Eine Reinigung muss stattfinden. Wenn keine Reinigung stattfindet, wir sind im Feuer am Anfang unserer Bekehrung. Nach und nach geht dieses Feuer äh, runter. But after a while, this fire goes down. Wir sind sehr intensiv im Wort. We're in the word. Irgendwann finden wir, finden wir keine Lust mehr, das Wort zu lesen. At one point, we don't like to read it Mangel an Erkenntnis, Lack of knowledge, Naivität, Naivity, ist sehr tödlich in geistlicher Bewegung. Is very deadly in a spiritual movement. Ihr werdet die Wahrheit erkennen. You will know the truth. Die Wahrheit wird euch frei machen. The truth will set you free. Ich habe dieses Motto in mir. I have this motto within me. Wenn ich eine dieselbe Situation, die sich wiederholen in meinem Leben, When I see that are ich fange fang an, alles in Frage zu stellen. I start everything. Ich fange an, Frage zu stellen. I start question, Unser Problem questions. als Christen, wir stellen keine Frage. Our as Christians, we don't ask du, leb, du kommst aus einer Familie, you come from a family, wo alle sich scheiden lassen. Where all are being du kommst aus einer Familie, you come from a family, wo der Großvater von Krebs gestorben ist. Where the died of der cancer. Vater von Krebs gestorben the ist. Died of Auch wenn es nur eine Person Even when it's just one Fäng person, an die Frage zu stellen. Start asking questions. Gott antwortet auf jede Frage. God is answering every question. Es gibt Leute, ihr Leben besteht, besteht aus falschen Fundamenten. There are people which lives are built on false foundations. Deine Mutter Your mother hat dich erzeugt has, uh, mit einem verheirateten Mann. With a married man. Dein ganzes Leben Your whole life kannst du Satan das nutzen Satan can use als it Ankerpunkt, as an anchor um point dich anzuklagen, to accuse you, um dich anzugreifen. To attack you. Dein Vater Your hat Geld verdient has made money aus falschen Geschäft, from wrong aus businesses, Betrug und so weiter. From betrayal and so on. Satan kann diese offene Tür nutzen, Satan can use this open door, um die ganzen Nachkommen anzugreifen. And 
Viele, viele sagen immer, saying, wenn wir in Christus sind, Christ, wir sind neue Kreatur geworden, das Alte ist vergangen, das ist die Wahrheit. Aber Jesus sagte uns, us, treib Dämonen aus, heil Kranken, er wird unser Thema heute hören, wie Satan die Fundament der Gemeinde angegriffen hat und das Erste, was er gemacht hat, did, er blendet uns. Us. Wenn wir blind sind, When we're blind, wenn wir taub sind, when we're deaf, wir können nicht auf Gott hören und wir können nicht gehorsam sein. Wenn wir blind sind, When we're blind, Satan wird uns lenken, wie er will. Satan will guide us Man sagt, ja, man redet sehr viel über Dämonen. Man, man sieht Dämonen überall. Die sind überall leider. Warum? Satan ist nicht allgegenwärtig. Gott ist allgegenwärtig. Der Heilige Geist ist hier. Er ist in Ludwigshafen. Er ist in, in, in Tokio. Er ist in, in Istanbul. Der Heilige Geist kann überall sein, im selben Moment. Aber Satan kann nicht überall sein. Er hat sein Reich gebaut. Gemäß Epheser 6. Er hat, er hat vier Stufen gebaut. Und, und die fünfte Stufe sind die Dämonen. Was sind die Aufgabe der Dämonen? Die Aufgabe der Dämonen ist das Leben der, der, der Menschen so zu quälen, finanzielle Nöte, Gesundheitnöte, Ehenöte, Nöte überall, damit Menschen in Sorge fallen. Gedenkt daran, Paulus sagt, sorgt euch nicht. In, in alle eure Sorge, kommt vor Gott mit, mit, mit Danksagen, in all your words mit Lobpreis, mit Anbetung, with worship, with in Erkenntnis, dass Gott ist. In, in Hebräer 11, Vers 6, wer zu Gott kommt, so glauben, dass er ist, is, dass er die belohnt, die an ihn glauben. Denn ohne Glaube him, faith, ist es unmöglich, Gott wohl zu gefallen. To Satan hat sein Reich gebaut. Satan has built his kingdom. Aber sein Reich But his kingdom ist in die Welt. Is in the world. Und wir sind das Reich Gottes. And we're the kingdom wir of God. sind mitten in dem Reich Satan. We're amidst the kingdom of Und unsere Aufgabe als Reich Gottes And our job ist, the zu erobern. Is to conquer. ist zu erobern. Is to conquer. Wir sind ein King, wer war schon Liechtenstein oder in Luxemburg? In Liechtenstein oder Luxemburg? Luxemburg ist ein so kleines Stadt, Land in der Mitte von Europa. In the midst of Europe. So ist das Reich Gottes. This is how the wir sind God ein is. kleines Reich, in der Mitte des Reichs Satan. Aber im Geist sind wir größer. Im Geist sind wir mächtiger. Aber er hat uns Vollmacht gegeben. Wofür ist diese Vollmacht? Hast du dir schon die Frage gestellt, wann war das erste Mal, dass ich diese Vollmacht ausge ausgeübt habe? Er hat dir Vollmacht gegeben. Gegen Schlange um Skorpionen zu treten. Wann war das erste Mal, wo du gegen eine Schlange und Skorpion getreten hast? Wir sind in Gemeinde, wir lesen die Bibel, aber wir begreifen nicht die Bibel. Wie kann Gott sagen, ich gebe dir Vollmacht? Wofür ist diese Vollmacht? Was, was, warum brauche ich diese Vollmacht? Um, um gegen Schlange und Skorpionen zu treten und gegen die ganzen Macht Satan. Aber die Frage ist, wann setze ich diese Vollmacht ein? Wann benutze ich diese Vollmacht? Wir sind in Mannheim. Mannheim ist eine Stadt, die sehr erfüllt mit Okkultismus. Die Freimaurer haben ihre Fundamenten hier. Die haben ihre Tempel in Mannheim, in Lampesheim. Die sind sehr vertreten. Die Hinduisten, die Muslime haben ihre Moschee überall gebaut. Wisst ihr, diese Moschee, diese Tempel, diese buddhistische Tempel, diese Freimaurer-Tempel sind Altäre, die in der Stadt gebaut sind. Und diese Altäre, ihre Aufgabe ist die Stimme der Himmel zu schließen, ist zu der Himmel so zu schließen, dass in der Stadt die Engel keine Möglichkeit haben, sich zu bewegen, dass die Christen nicht die Möglichkeit haben, durchzubrechen. Und jetzt, Gott hat 
hat uns Vollmacht gegeben. God has given us authority. Wir sind ein Feuerflamme. We are flame of fire. Die Bibel sagt, er macht aus seinen Diener Feuerflamme. He makes his servants flames of fire. Wir müssen We must als Gemeinde as a church eine Feuer in der Stadt anzünden. Ignite a fire in the city. Eine Feuer in der Nation anzünden. Ignite a fire in the nation. Durch Fasten. Through fasting. Durch Gebet. Through prayer. Durch Kampfgebet. Through battle prayer. Gemeinde. Wir church. müssen Kampfgebet führen. We must make Diese war prayers. Zeit, wo wir in Gottes Gott ist kommen, ein paar Lobpreislieder singen, ein Liturgie hören und Kaffee trinken und Kuchen essen und nach Hause gehen. Diese Zeit ist vorbei. Im Himmel, Gott hat, Gott hat die Pause ist vorbei. Die Pause ist vorbei. Gott sagt, rüstet mein Volk auf zum Kampf. Wir sind in der Zeit Josua. Wir müssen Kanaan einnehmen und wenn wir Kanan einnehmen, wir treiben alle fremde Völker raus. Als Gemeinde, wir sind die, die das Sagen haben in dieser Nation. Aber Satan hat so gearbeitet, dass die Gemeinde blind ist, dass die Gemeinde taub ist. Deswegen heißt es, die haben Augen zu sehen, die sehen nicht. Die haben Ohren zu hören, die hören nicht. Die Dämonen, die Mächte der Finsternis, haben die Gemeinde infiltriert. Die sind in die Gemeinde. Ich habe in meinem Leben fast über 100 Gemeinden besucht. Und in jeder Gemeinde, wo ich ankam, die Werke der Finsternis haben infiltriert. Wir waren in einer Gemeinde in Israel. Und über 70 Leute in der Gemeinde. Nicht mal die Hälfte. Nicht mal die Hälfte ist auf die Beine ge 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 geblieben. Alle waren dämonisiert. Ich habe Angst an diesem Tag gehabt. Ich war in Katar. 300 Leute in einem Haus. Über 150 haben Dämonen manifestiert. Ich war geschockt. Wisst ihr warum? Weil wir unsere Vollmacht nicht anwenden. Weil wir nicht mehr beten. Wir machen keine Nacht. Gebet mehr. Wir machen keine Faste mehr. Wir, 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 wir denken, wir sind einmal errettet, das reicht uns. Sag in dir selbst, die Zeit der Pause ist vorbei. Sag in dir selbst, die Zeit der, oh, ich bin müde, ich kann nicht beten, ist vorbei. Satan wird dir immer den Eindruck geben, du bist müde. Und wenn du, du immer glaubst, du bist müde, du wirst immer müde sein. Wenn wir durch dann erobern möchte, Germany, Europa ero erobern möchte, Europe, das Feuer muss angezündet werden. Das Feuer. Und das Feuer kommt aus deinem Mund. Das Feuer. Denn es steht geschrieben, written, aus dem Mund des Herrn Lord, ist ein doppelschneidiges Schwert. Und der Herr lebt in dir. Das bedeutet, aus deinem Mund ist ein doppelschneidiges Schwert. Das Feuer kommt aus dir und vertät die Werke Satan. In der Raum, wo du wohnst, in, room, in live, der Stadt, wo du wohnst, in, in der Gemeinde, wo du bist, are, ein Feuer muss angezündet werden. Sag dein Pastor, pastor sag die Leute in der Gemeinde, in the es ist die Zeit, eine Fasten zu rufen, Gebet zu rufen, damit die Wiederherstellung stattfindet so in die Gemeinde, in, in der Region. region. Nur wenn wir so beten, we way, die Kette werden da draußen fallen, fall die Grundfeste des Satan werden eingerichtet. Und wir, und, und, wir und, und wir werden Bekehrungen erleben. Und wir werden mächtige Frauen und Männer Gottes in Bewegung sehen. Halleluja. Wir sind in dieser Zeit. Es ist eine kritische Zeit. Wir sehen, was im Nahen Osten passiert. Es ist ein Bild, was uns erwartet. Was gerade im Nahen Osten passiert, ist die Erfüllung der Prophezie. Es muss passieren. Deswegen, wir sagen, wir beten nicht für den Frieden, in der Osten. Es wird keine Frieden geben. Sie haben ihre Frieden abgelehnt. Der Messias kam, Jesus Christus. Sie haben ihn abgelehnt. Er ist der Friedenfürst. Sie werden an ihre, auf ihre Armee zählen, aber sie werden merken, unsere Armee kann uns nicht erreichen. Und so werden die den Messias anrufen. Und er wird kommen. Amen. Der Friedenfürst, der Einzige, der Frieden geben kann, 
ist Jesus Christus. Jesus Christ. Bitte nicht gegen Armut. Don't pray against Bitte virtue. nicht gegen Krieg. Don't pray against es steht geschrieben, Kriegen werden kommen. Come. Armut wird kommen. Erdbeben werden kommen. Uh, Sei come. nicht zu viel emotional. Sieh die Sache mit Geist. Look in the spirit. Wenn wir Wächter in die Gemeinde sind, When we are watchmen in the wir church, erkennen, was am Kommen ist. We know what is to come. Und wir beten, Herr, pray, dein Lord, Wille soll geschehen. Your will shall be done. Erbar und wir können beten, erbarme dich über Israel. Pray, have mercy on Israel. Dass in dieser Situation Leute sich bekehren. Erbarme dich in, 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 in Gazastreifen, in, Gaza in Palästina in Palestine. oder wie man das auch nennt. Erbarme dich have mercy in, Libanon. in Libanon. Erbarme dich, have mercy. Halleluja. Halleluja. Bring her, Bring dass Lord. die Leute sich bekehren. To you. Amen. Amen. Denn in der Zeit der Gnade, grace, der Geist ist in die Gemeinde. The der Geist ist nicht in Israel. Is in Israel. Er ist in die Gemeinde. Er ist in der Nation. Nach der Entrückung der Gemeinde, the the church, der Heilige Geist wird nach Israel gehen, go um Israel Israel zu erwecken. Aber der Heilige Geist arbeitet es in den Nationen. In the nation. Wenn die Juden ihre Herzen öffnen, the die heart, empfangen Jeshua, Yeshua, die werden sich bekehren convert, und die werden nicht durch den Drangsal gehen. Go Denn der große Drangsal ist für Israel, is Israel, ist nicht für uns, for Gemeinde. Us. Amen. Amen. Lass uns diese Gottes segnen. Let us bless this Wir danken dir, Vater, We für diese Gottes Ich danke meiner Schwester, mein Bruder, my brother, alle, die da hier heute zum ersten Mal Lass uns ein Segen erleben mit Gott. Denn unser Gott ist der Gott der Segen. Unser Gott ist der mächtige Gott. Unser Gott ist der große Gott. Unser Gott ist der starke Gott. Er ist der Herr der Herrscher. Er ist der Herr über alles. Er regiert über alles. Sein Name ist Jesus Christus. Der einzige wahre Gott. Der mächtige Gott. Er ist der, der war, der, der ist und der Komm, Jeshua. Und wir sagen, Herr, Halleluja. Halleluja. Wir loben dich, Jesus. Wir preisen dich, Jesus. Wir lieben dich, Jesus. Sei der Meister. Sei unser Erlöser in diesem Ort, in dieser Nation. Wir geben dir die ganze Ehre, Vater. Jesus Christus. Jesus Christus. Jesus Christus. Maranatha. 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 Die Braut soll sagen, komm her. Komm her. Komm her. Komm her. Hat die Kontrolle über alles, Herr. Amen. 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 Heute wollen wir etwas vom Herrn erleben. Gott wird etwas machen. Aber ich lade dich auch nächste Woche. Wir haben drei Tage Befreiungsseminar hier. Ab Freitag geht los. Samstagmorgen sind wir hier. Amen. Um Samstagabend, alle die Gespräche brauchen, wir werden ein Gespräch am Samstagnachmittag haben. Wir werden uns hier treffen, Gespräch haben. We'll und Fragen beantworten Samstag Nachmittag. And und Sonntag and Sunday, schließen wir unser Befreiungsseminar. Amen. Amen. Und dann über nächste Woche, and then in two weeks, wir starten am Samstag, der dritte oder vierte, we start Saturday, mit 30 Tagen Fastenzeit. Fasting wir werden 5.30 Uhr Gebet haben, 5 we'll Uhr morgen 30 Uhr. Und Abend um 18.30 Uhr. In the evenings, jeden Tag every day, hier in die Gemeinde. Here in church, wir werden beten. We'll pray. Es ist eine Zeit der Ausrüstung zu erobern. To conquer. Ausrüstung equipment zu erobern. To conquer. Es ist der apostolische Dienst, the ministry, der sich erweckt in Deutschland. Is awakening es ist Germany. der prophetische Dienst, der ministry, sich erweckt in Deutschland. Is es ist der, der Lehrerdienst, teacher, der Pastordienst, uh, the pastor der evangelische Dienst. Evangelist. Wir wollen 30 Tage dafür you beten, dass Gott etwas in diese Nation tut. Gott segne dich, diese Gottesdienst. God bless the service. Gott segne dich im Namen Jesus. And God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.
Halleluja. Halleluja. Einen wunderschönen guten Morgen, liebe Gemeinde, liebe Geschwister. Halleluja. Lasst uns zusammenkommen. Lasst uns, Halleluja, wieder auf unsere Plätze gehen. Halleluja. Einen wunderschönen guten Morgen, liebe oh, Geschwister. Ich darf auch jeden sisters. Einzelnen begrüßen, der uns online zuschaut. Online. Egal ob YouTube, Facebook, Whether TikTok. YouTube, Halleluja. Facebook, TikTok whatever. Wir sind überall vertreten. We're Halleluja. Wir wollen, everywhere. ja, dass das Evangelium verbreitet wird. We that the, Wir wollen, dass das Reich being Gottes spread. gebaut wird. We want that the kingdom Wir wollen in die Gegenwart Gottes kommen. We want to come into the presence of God. Ja, lasst uns zusammenkommen, liebe so Geschwister. Let us come together, dear brothers and sisters. Halleluja. Halleluja. Ja, wir wollen die Gegenwart Gottes kommen. Yes, we want to come wir into wollen the presence of God. vor Gottes Thron stehen. We want to stand Halleluja. In front of the throne of God. Denn der Herr ist hier. The Lord Halleluja. Is here. Halleluja. Glaubst du, dass der Herr Do you believe ist, that the Lord is hier? ist hier? Denn in seinem Wort hat er gesagt, wo zwei oder in drei word, said, in meinem Namen versammelt sind, come together da bin in my ich name. in eurer Mitte. Halleluja. Und deshalb glaube ich, so that, weil wir mehr als believe, zwei oder drei sind, ich bin two davon three, überzeugt, dass der Herr that heute the Lord hier in unserer Mitte ist, in our midst today. dass er hier ist. Halleluja. Here, Halleluja. Aber manchmal können da Hindernisse sein, können da Blockaden sein, können da Ablenkungen sein, können da so viele Sorgen sein, so Zweifel. Ja, auch der Alltag kann es sein, der uns hindert, wirklich in diese Gegenwart Gottes zu kommen. Obwohl der Herr hier ist, kann er uns etwas hindern und blockieren. Und es gibt da so eine Stelle, die möchte ich dich hineinführen. Die möchte ich hineingehen, kurz am Anfang von Gottes Dienst. Weil diese Stelle in der Bibel gibt mir immer wieder ja, dieses wunderbare always giving Bild. Me this wonderful Zeig image. mir das, was das Hindernis, das Blockade da the blockage, sind. Um, Und zwar in Lukas Kapitel 10. Um, Luke, das ist eine wunderbare Stelle, in die ich mich vor einigen Wochen mit Brüdern um, zusammensetzen konnte. Wir haben zwei Stunden, zwei Stunden lang, über zwei Stunden lang, haben wir über Some diese Stelle ago, geredet und diskutiert. Hours, um, und das war so it. wunderbar. Und ich möchte dir ein Stück davon mitgeben, zum Anfang des Gottesdienstes. In Lukas Kapitel 10, auf Vers 38. So Luke 10, starting from verse 38. Halleluja. Da heißt es, es begab sich aber, als sie weiterreisten, dass er in ein gewisses Dorf kam. Und eine Frau namens Martha Now it happened as they went that he entered a certain village and a certain Schwester, woman named Martha welcomed him into her house and she Jesus had a sister Füßen called Mary who also sat at zu. Jesus' feet and heard his möchte, word. Dass du hier innehältst und And, uh, diese Worte Jesu I want you now to um, closely dass du das drückst, dass listen du das and you can even underline these words to sit at the heißt, feet of Jesus and hear his words. Eine Schwester, welche so, Maria hieß. And she had a sister Jesus called Mary who also sat at Jesus' feet so. and heard his word. Martha aber But Martha sich viel was distracted with much, mit der much serving. Und sie trat and she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care darum, that, that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help hilft. me. Jesus aber and Jesus und answered and said to her, Martha, 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 Martha Du machst dir Sorgen you are worried und Unruhe und um about vieles. Many things, but Eines one aber thing ist Not. Und Mary Maria has chosen that good part, das gute Teil which will not be taken away from her. nicht von ihr genommen werden. Amen. Es war eine wunderbare Stelle. Und It's ich empfehle dir sehr, diese um, Stelle scripture. durchzulesen und And tief I zu studieren. Und ich empfehle dir, diese Stelle durchzulesen und tief Maria erlebte. Was Mar Martha What Martha and Maria they experienced in, in this situation, mitgeben. and I want to give Halleluja, it a, one part of it to you. Verse, you see, like three or four, five verses that are describing this situation, what they experienced, und allein das and only Fragen that in mir. Um, started Weil es bringing sind nur questions. Oder fünf Verse, die because davon there are only four or five verses beschrieben wurden. And it is only written from one perspective, from the perspective of Martha. What Martha experienced. Martha did something great. She welcomed Jesus in the house. As when we welcomed Jesus in our house. The same did Martha. But we could do so much more 
uh, 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 um, learn so much more out of this situation when we also read from the perspective from Mariah or from Jesus what they have heard then we will so much more more than was hier in der Bibel drin gesteht ist. Weil Maria saß zu den Jesu Füßen Maria said und hörte Jesus feed and die Worte zu. Und hörte das Wort Gottes. Und hörte, und hörte God. Halleluja, das Leben. Und hörte to die life. Hoffnung. Und hörte to die hope. Freude. Und hörte to joy. so vieles, was Martha and verpasst hat. So much that was Martha, Martha missed out. mit anderen Beschäftigungen, mit Martha anderen Dingen abgelenkt with other hat. Mit der Bedienung. With und Jesus offenbart es sogar. And und Jesus spricht Martha direkt an und sagt zu ihr, Martha, even, Martha, um, du machst dir Martha Sorgen directly. Martha, Martha, und Nöte. You worry um so vieles und Unruhe about um so, so many things Aber eines ist Not. that one is necessary eines ist Not one is, is not one is necessary that we come and sit to Jesus feet Jesu Füßen kommen, at Jesus um feet von ihm zu hören, to listen and um hear from him zu hören. Halleluja. Und ich möchte, ja, dass wir diese and I want us to take this möchte, part aufstehen. of scripture now into prayer and to stand up and let us stand up Lass please uns beten. Let us pray alles, was uns that all that is hindering alles, was uns kann, all that is alles, was blocking us, kann, all that is blocking us, sorrows, Nöte, egal, was es ist, uh, worries, dass das kein Raum that it has no room in us now, that it has no in our lives, sei es be it, be it disease, it no matter what it is, we want we to lay das it down, we want ablehnen. to lay it down, we want to lay it down, we want to lay it down, Jesus Christus, komm, Halleluja. Erhebt deine Stimme. Erhebt deine Stimme, Halleluja. Halleluja, Vater. Halleluja, mein König. Halleluja, mein Gott. Mein allmächtiger König. Jesus Christus. Jesus Christus, Halleluja. Mein allmächtiger Vater. Mein allmächtiger Gott. Mein allmächtiger König. Jesus Christus, Herr. wir wollen deine Gegenwart kommen. Wir wollen in deine Nähe kommen, Jesus Christus. Wir wollen zu dir kommen, Herr. Unser Gott und Vater. Wir wollen so wie Maria an deinen Füßen sitzen, Herr. Wir wollen deine Worte hören, Herr. Wir wollen, Herr, nur auf dich schauen. Unser Fokus, unser Ein Angesicht, Herr. Alles soll nur auf dich schauen. Everything Jesus Christus, Herr. Jesus, Jesus Christus, Herr. Herr, wir kommen nur zu dir, Herr we Vater. You, wir kommen Father. nicht zu einem Menschen. Wir kommen We're nicht mehr zu irgendwelcher Religion. Nein, wir kommen zu dir, Vater. Come Herr. Alone, wir kommen Jesus. vor deinen Thron, Herr. Wir your kommen your in deine Gegenwart, Herr. Wir kommen zu deinen Füßen, Herr Vater. Und alles, Herr, was uns ablenken möchte. Alles, Herr, was uns blockieren möchte. Alles, Herr, was was uns hindern möchte, deine Gegenwart zu kommen. Herr, wir wollen es ablegen, Herr. Wir wollen es ablegen von deinem Thron. Wir wollen es ablegen in deiner Gegenwart, Herr. Wir wollen, Herr Vater, alles ablegen, Herr. Lege alles ab, lege alles ab, Herr, was auf deinem Herz ist, Herr. Lege ab, Herr, Halleluja. Jede Sorge, jede Unruhe, jeder Zweifel, Herr. Lege alles ab, lege alles ab, lege alles ab von deinem Thron. Lege alles ab, Halleluja, Herr. Im Namen Jesu, im Namen Jesu, im Namen Jesu, Herr. Wenn es auf geistliche Mächte, Herr, ich blockieren möchte heute Morgen, Herr. Ich lege ab, ich lege ab, Halleluja. Mein Blick, mein Blick erhebt sich zu dir. Mein Blick erhebt sich zu dir, Herr. Mein Blick erhebt sich zu dir, Herr. Mein Blick erhebt sich zu dir, Herr. Nur zu dir. Jesus Christus, Jesus Christus, Hallelujah, 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 
Halleluja, Herr. Halleluja, Herr. Unsere Augen, unsere Ohren sollen offen sein. Halleluja, Vater. Sollen offen sein, Herr Vater. Halleluja, Vater. Lass das Blut Jesus Christus. Unsere hören, Augen, Halleluja. Damit das Blut des Lammes hier ist. Damit das Blut des Lammes hier in unserer Mitte ist. Wir wollen das Blut des Lammes deklarieren, proklamieren. Halleluja. In unsere Ohren, in unsere Augen. Wir deklarieren, dass das Blut hier ist. Halleluja. Das Blut des Lammes. Das Blut des Lammes. Halleluja. In unserer Mitte. Das Blut des Lammes ist hier. Das Blut des Lammes, Halleluja, bedeckt uns, Herr. Das Blut des Lammes, Halleluja, bedeckt unsere Ohren, bedeckt unsere Augen, bedeckt uns hier heute. Halleluja, Jesus. Das Blut des Lammes, das Blut des Lammes. Danke, Vater. Danke, Vater, danke, Jesus. Danke, Jesus. Danke, Jesus. Wir geben dir die Ehre, Vater. Wir geben dir die Ehre, Jesus. Wir geben dir die Ehre, Jesus. Wir geben dir die Ehre. Wir geben dir die Ehre. Wir geben dir die Ehre, Herr. Mein Gott. Wir geben dir die Ehre. Dir gebührt die Ehre, dir alleine, mein Gott. Sie bedeutet die Ehre. Was soll er aber da geht, dass Schalala Bakaria Schatare Bakare Bosse. Lieber Kato, 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, my God. 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 Thank you, my Shatore bo sataya ba 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 ba. Iba katore bo shatara ba ba ba. Danke danke oh Herr. Danke Jesus. Danke Jesus. Halleluja. Unser Herr ist so wunderbar. Halleluja. Our Lord is so wonderful. Wir können nicht schweigen von dem, was er tut. Wir können nicht schweigen von dem, was er wirkt. Wir können nicht schweigen von seiner Größe, von seiner Macht. Halleluja. Danke, Vater. 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 Danke, Vater.
unser Herrn zu loben und zu preisen. Und es heißt in seinem Wort, dass, was, dass der Herr ein, ein, zersch, ein zerbrochenes Herz und einen zerschlagenen Geist nicht verachten wird. Dass der Herr diejenigen ansieht, die mit, mit zerbrochenem Herzen, mit zerschlagenem Geist vor ihm kommen. Und ich weiß nicht, wie du heute Morgen hier an diesen Ort gekommen bist. Ich weiß nicht, was dich gerade bewegt, aber wir wollen einfach unser Herz vor Gott bringen. Das heißt Halleluja. nicht, dass wir durch Schmerzen gehen müssen, dass wir nur dann zerbrochen und zerschlagen sind, sondern es bedeutet dieses Wort, dass wir wirklich uns demütigen, dass wir uns, yes. wie David sich so oft hingelegt hat, flach auf den Boden gelegt hat vor den Herrn und sagt, Herr, nimm mich, nimm mein Leben, nimm mein Herz, ich gehöre dir, es mach mit mir, was heart, du willst. Yes, nicht, was you want ich will, sondern was du willst. Nicht, nicht was, was ich will, ich will ja. du das sind wir, das, dafür sind wir heute Morgen gekommen, um das dem Herrn zu sagen. Wie ein Liebeslied, das wir dem Herrn singen. Wir singen zu dem Herrn. Von mir. Everything, take everything from me. Not me, 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 but more of you, Lord. Not I live, but Jesus Christ in me. Mehr von dir, Danke. Wir wollen mehr von dem Herrn. Wir wollen mehr von dir, Jesus. Wir wollen in seine Gegenwart. We want to come into His presence. Hallelujah. Nimm das mit in das nächste Lied und proklamiere wirklich von Herzen. Take it with you into the next song. Danke, Vater. Thank you, Father. Danke, Herr. Thank Danke, you, Lord. Danke, 
of my heart treasure of my heart and of my soul in my weakness you are merciful redeemer of my past and present wrong holder of my future days to come Get to some announcing hallelujah. Oh, ba 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 ba, shake it, baby, baby. Your presence is heaven to me. 
Que Dieu dit hein hein ben nous alléluia déclarer hein alléluia Your presence is heaven to me Your presence is heaven to me Hallelujah. Mm. Your presence is heaven to me. Here I am to worship. Here I am. Here I am. You're my God. You're all together lovely all together worthy all together wonderful to me here i am here i am to worship here i am to bow down here i am to say that you're my god You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. I never know, hallelujah. I never worship you lord we praise you lord we honor your name lord you say welcome to jesus in this in this place ori aba ba 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 seteri aba ba 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 sekere be 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 can we in ka in tune better hallelujah sheri aba ba 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 seteri aba ba 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 Singing, I know it's need, hallelujah. Singing, I know it's need, hallelujah. 
Danke, Vater. Thank you, Father. Danke, Vater. Thank you, Father. Danke, Vater. Thank you, Father. Danke, Heiliger Geist. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Wir geben dir allein die Ehre, Herr. We give you alone the honor, Lord. Wir werfen alles vor dir. We lay everything down before you. Wir werfen unsere Herz. We lay our hearts unsere before Gesinnungen. You, our attitudes, unsere Gedanken. Our thoughts. Vater, wir wollen in Anheit vor dir kommen. Father, we want to be in unity. In Anheit des Geistes. In Anheit der Liebe. Unity in love. In Anheit der Erkenntnis. Unity in revelation. Herr, wir kommen als ein Leib. Lord, we come as eine Seele. Ein Geist vor dir, Herr. Soul before you. Um deine Stimme zu hören. To, to Denn deine Stimme ist uns wichtiger als alle anderen. Dein Gegenwart ist wichtiger als alle anderen, Herr. Oh Vater, wir danken dir, weil wir mit Freimütigkeit vor der Thron der Gnade eintreten dürfen. In der Erkenntnis, dass du Gott bist. In der Erkenntnis, dass du alle belohnen, die vor dir mit Glauben kommen. Wir glauben, dass du Gott bist. Und wir deklarieren, dass es keinen anderen Gott gibt wie Jesus Christus. Andere Götter sind nichtige Götter. 
Aber Jesus Christus ist der Schöpfer. Er ist der Herr, der regiert über alles. Er regiert über alles. Er hat Sieg. Und er ist würdig, auf dem Thron zu sitzen. Jesus Christus hat uns mit ihm in himmlische Region versetzt. Oh, Halleluja. Halleluja. Danke, Vater. Danke, Vater. Richte deine Augen vor dem Thron Gottes. Richte dein Herz vor dem Thron Gottes. Sag, Herr, hier bin ich. Ich bin hier. Hier bin ich. Hier bin ich. Hier bin ich. Hier bin ich, Vater. Schau mein Herz. Schau mein Leben, Herr. Alles gehört dir. Alles gehört dir. Alles gehört dir, Vater. Alles gehört dir, Jesus. Alles gehört dir, Herr. All belongs to you, Jesus. Der Herr ist da, der Herr ist da. Der Heilige Geist ist in Bewegung im Haus. Der Herr, der Herr Schare ist da heute. Halleluja. Danke, Vater, Halleluja. Danke, Vater. Danke, Vater. Thank you, Father. Danke, Vater. Thank you, Father. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. We call upon your name, Jesus. We call upon your name, Jesus. We call upon your name. We call upon your name. Oh, once more, hallelujah. We call upon your name. We call upon your name. Upon your name, Jesus. We call 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 upon your name, Jesus. Oh, we call upon your name, Jesus. We call upon your name, Jesus. We call upon your name, Jesus. Oh, we call upon your name, Jesus. 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 Oh, we call upon your name, Jesus. We call upon your name, Jesus. We call upon your name, Jesus. Oh, 
We call upon your name, Jesus. We call upon your name, Jesus. We call upon your name, Jesus. Oh, for your name. Oh, da, ba, 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 yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. She ba 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 so to riba ka yo shit. Yes. Call upon your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We call upon your name, Jesus. We call upon your name, Jesus. We call upon your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We call upon your name, Jesus. We call upon your name, Jesus. We call upon your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We call upon your name, Jesus. We call upon your name, Jesus. We call upon your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We call upon your name. How we go in prayer? I came by prayer. I will stay in prayer. When I leave this world, I will go in prayer. How we go in prayer? I came by prayer. I will stay in prayer. When I leave this world, how we go in prayer? I came by prayer. I will stay in prayer. When I leave this world, how we go in prayer? I came by prayer. I will stay in prayer. When I leave this world, I will go in prayer. Prayer, 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 prayer. Prayer. I came by prayer. 
we stay in prayer. I will stay in prayer. When I need this word, I will stay in prayer. Come and pray. I will stay in prayer. When I need this word, I will stay. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you, Father. Thank you. As zone, that's to us as deine eigene. Me as Herr. we are as yours. Du hast den höchsten Preis bezahlt. Durch dein Blut, Jesus. Through your blood, Jesus. Sind wir errettet. We are bought and we es are ist so eine Freude, Herr, it's just, it's, it's vor dem Thron Gottes zu stehen to stand before the throne und dich of God zu schauen, anzubeten. Deine liebende Augen, deine liebende Halleluja. Du bist die Liebe in mein Leben, Vater. Ich danke dir, Jesus Christus, Father, I thank you, Jesus Christ, für jede Antenne in dieser Ort. For in wir danken dir für Deutschland, for every, for denn Germany, die Zeit der Reformation ist gestartet. The time of Reformation has die Zeit, Vater, wo du deine Gemeinde erweckt, die letzte Stunde, awake, Vater, wir danken Father. dir dafür. We, the last wir danken hours, we dir, Vater. Immer mehr von dir. Immer mehr. Always more of you, Jesus. 
Ima me zain vidu. Ima me. Ima me dain avo. Te feste. Dain veke tu. Oh he. Ima me. Ima me. Ima me, Ima me zain vidu, Ima me, Ima me dain avo, te feste, dain veke tu, oh he, Ima me, du bis ein Gott. Du bist ein Gott, der seine Kinder liebt, der als ein Vater ihr Verlangen sieht. Niemand und nichts kommt dir jemals gleich, o oh Herr. Du zahltest uns als ewig treuer Freund und was genau wie unser Herz meint, gib uns mehr von dir, immer mehr. Amen. Halleluja. Amen, Halleluja. Danke, Vater. Thank you, Father. Halleluja. 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 Es sind so wunderbare Lieder. So wonderful, so wonderful songs. Es sind so Lieder, die dich in die Gegenwart Gottes bringen. Songs that bring you into the Halleluja. presence of the Lord. Halleluja. Wir haben diese Stelle gelesen von Maria und Martha. We read this verse from uh, the scripture at the beginning from Martha and Maria. Und diese Stelle, Halleluja, ist so and wunderbar. And this part of scripture is so wonderful. Einfach im Bewusstsein to, zu haben, to have it in your dass uns nichts hindern soll, dass uns nichts blockieren soll, soll block die Gegenwart Gottes zu kommen. Into the presence of the Lord. Dass mich nichts trennen darf, so wie das Wort Gottes sagt, von der Liebe Gottes. Halleluja. Halleluja. Aber gedenke an das Wort. But remember the word. Gedenke an das, Remember was das Volk Israel what the people of Israel hat. experienced. Es war über 400 Jahre it was almost 400 years, about 400 in years in slavery under a pharaoh Sie waren in, in Sklaverei. They were in slavery. Sie waren abgetrennt von They Gott. Were separated from Sie God. waren gefangen. They were, yeah, Und der Herr in prisoners. schickt Mose, And the schickt Lord Aaron. Sent Uh, Moses schickt and Aaron seine Diener Gottes, and sent his, uh, um ihnen die Befreiung zu verkündigen, um ihnen die Errettung zu verkündigen. To, to the, the und ihr seht, was passiert ist. Der Pharao hat blockiert, er hat gehindert. He stopped. Denn Gott hat seine Diener geschickt, um ihnen zu sagen, lass mein Volk ziehen, his, his, damit sie mir um, dienen. Lass sie go. ziehen, damit sie mir dienen to an dem Berg. So that they can serve me at the mountain. Und es war ein Kampf It da. Durch zehn Plagen, Almost durch zehn ten, Wunder und Zeichen one, hat der Herr geredet, signs, um zum Pharao, um zu den Pharaoh Ägyptern zu reden, Egypt, um auch so zu seinem Volk zu reden, um ihnen zu zeigen, people, ich bin show, euer Herr, your, ich kämpfe I'm yours, für euch, I'm your, I'm your ich kämpfe Lord, für I, euch, um, ja, befreie euch aus der Gefangenschaft. Halleluja. Das war der Anfang, wo das Volk Israel die Wunder und Zeichen erlebt hat, wie Gott gewirkt hat. Und die Wüstenzeit, die sie durchgeführt wurden. Aber jetzt, Halleluja, stehen sie vor der Verheißung, stehen sie vor Kanaan, stehen sie vor ihrem Land, das sie einnehmen sollen. Halleluja. Sie stehen vor dem, was ihnen verheißen wurde. Them than was God promised to them. And what does God tells them in, in, in Deuteronomy 7? Deuteronomy 7. Chapter 7. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 7. It is said at the beginning, start verse, from verse 1, When the Lord your God brings you into the land which you go to possess and has cast out many nations before you, the Hittites and the Jigashites Jir and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Parasites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than you, And when the Lord your God delivers them over to you, you shall conquer them and utterly destroy them. You shall make no covenant with them, nor show mercy to them, nor shall you make marriages with them. You shall not give your daughter to the son, 
not take their daughter for your son. For they will turn your sons away from following me to serve other gods. So the anger of the Lord will be aroused against you and destroy you suddenly. But thus you shall deal with them, you shall destroy their altars and break down their sacred pillars and cut down their wooden images and burn their carved images with, with fire. Amen. That was the task of Israel that they what which they had to do in the country of um, Canaan. They shall be active and fight. They shall be um, strong and courageous. As it was said to Joseph at the beginning, be strong and courageous and, con and um, fight for the promise and for the healing and for the deliverance. Fight for the faith. That is the word that the Lord of Lords is giving to us also, to, the, to us as church, that we are active, that we fight for our promises because we are not fight against um, people, but against the powers of evil. And we fight for the kingdom of God and for the light. We fight for so many things. That's why I want to encourage you and to be active and be strong, be, be ready to fight for it. Because the Lord is the one who is fighting with you. The, the word that he has given to you, this is the sword of the Spirit, which whom you shall fight, not with your own strength, not because of your own will, or the, the, um, the richness of this world, no, but for the kingdom of God. And it is said in Matthew 6, and verse 33, Seek first the kingdom of God, and all else will be given to you. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then everything will be given to you. That is said in um, Matthew 6:33. That's the word that encourages me and, and yeah, encourages me to go forward, even if there are um, problems, when challenges in the, in the all day, when the mountain seems very high, I know that my God is greater. With him I can uh, overcome. With him I can overcome. With him I can overcome. I can step onto serpents and I can cast out demons because he has given me the strength and the authority. That is his word and that is encouraging me. That is his word that is encouraging me. That is um, confirms the word that has been given to us and the spirit that gives us the conviction and the strength to break through. And maybe you have a testimony. Maybe you have something to give us today that you experienced this week during the week where the Lord has encouraged you, where the Lord has given something to you, then I want to encourage you to come f forward, to come to the f up to the, f to the stage and encourage us too. Yes, we have some so short testimonies, short ones. Don't be shy, be courageous. Hallelujah. I just want to give a short, um, um, a short testimony and encourage people who are maybe on difficult times. This week there was a turbulent week. Um, a lot of things happened that happened on the parallel. And I want to encourage you that the Lord is greater and that they all serve us to the best. All serve us to the best. And this is where, how we how we um, lean on. We shall um, distinguish and discern, is, is it a test or is it attack of Satan? We shall learn to, um, to discern and to understand the language of God. And maybe, and sometimes in the midst of the test, it's something else, but the Lord is testing you and the Lord wants to strengthen you. And this week, it was... I want to correct something in our house. There, um, 
there is um, humidity in our house even before we moved in and it and it, col it was um, collected over years now and now the whole um, whole house is um, um, damp. it has nothing to do with um, open the w windows it's just one story we that it was this week we don't live any longer at home at, currently because of the mold and then it is, uh, another thing was ha happening with my car and then another brother wrote us that his, uh, his um, heating exploded. So so you you think you care for one thing and then another other thing happens. So a lot of things that happen um, at mo simultaneously. And the Lord is testing us. How do we deal with it? If people confront us with um, with accusations. And um, God, praise God, at the person where the heating exploded, we had wonderful conversations with him. Maybe we see him one day here. And I want to encourage you that the Lord is greater than any problem, every problem. Thank you, Jesus. The children also can encourage us, can give us something. So what... You want to share Joshua? Joshua 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all. that is written in it. And for then you will make your way um, prosperous. And then you will have good success. Have I, not have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you for this encouraging verse. Be strong and courageous. Also our sister. Amen. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Since Wednesday, the Lord spoke to me that I shall give testimony today. And it's a time to give testimony. And in Psalm 22, uh, 24, Uh, Psalms uh, 27, sorry, uh, verse 4. One thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire his, in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion and the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set my, me high upon a rock and now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. This word um, accompanied me um, 2017, 18, 19, 20, 2019. It was a difficult year for me. 2019, June, my son quit his um, training and from one day of the, of the other. I did not know where he was. I did not know nothing. A lot of people came toward, toward, to me, the father, other people. And um, they told me, you are the mother. 
um, school and school um, they came to me but I did not know where he was I simply don't know where he is and I just hold on to this word I took refuge in the house of the Lord and the verse that is said here in Psalm 27 and in this house in his presence I hid myself it was Julie, August, September and one day he came back the only thing that hold and healed me was the word this word and prayer and fasting and I said to the Lord you will lift up my head against my enemies and I will I will give you I will be a sacrifice of joy towards for you and I will start singing a new song for you Lord this is the word that has hold me the whole time through my son was somewhere and I did not know where sometimes he called and contact me and sometimes not but in the evening I said to the Lord where is my son you know where he is no matter where he is father the glory shall bring him back I was like a mother, like Jesus said, O Jerusalem, O Jerusalem. Long I wanted to gather you under my wings. This was, this was how I was. So this child going away from home and I don't, did not know where. At, at some point in September he came back. He came with clothes. I said, Lord, that's not my son. But his his all his clothes were were down and broken and just his nails were full of dirt. His feet. And at this moment, when he came, entered the door. I hugged him and said, thank you, Lord, that you brought him back. He came back. He came back. He took a bath. He cleaned himself. I, I prepared food for him. And days after this, he, 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 he started speaking what happened, where he was where he met m many people but you know when one mother or father is on their knees and prays for their children the heaven is open and no matter where the child is the, the, the hand of the Lord brings them out of the darkness and takes them out so was it so was it he came and he told me mama I met so many people and there I also I met Christians a, a, a tent full of Christians and I spoke about Jesus and I said yes my, my mother is crazy about Jesus and in prayer And in prayer, spoke to me and told me these words. We 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 have sorrows as worries as children and don't know how they feel or are. But at the moment when I enter prayer, the Lord did His part and me did my part. And the Lord spoke to me. You know, Bruska. Even if you don't know where he is, I know where your son is. And you, you sh still let go, simply let go, simply let go, simply let go, simply let go. Stay in prayer, stay in prayer, stay in prayer. And trust me, 
Trust me, and I will do what I have promised to you. From this moment on, on you are the moment you said to me, "I am your savior." Take my life and 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 take the life of my children. This is how the Lord told me, and the Lord told me, "Let go." This moment, I understood to let go and to trust the Lord. And this moment, I understand my part is in yours, in your hand. My future, my future, and the future of my children are in your hands. In ha your hands. From 2021, I'm here, and the Lord did so many things, as the brother said. And um, in Deuteronomy, and I read in, in Deuteronomy 7 that the Lord started to this. To destroy many things in my life that were not from God and now I can rejoice and say Lord and, ha, ha, and rejoice in the Lord because he was always good to me and he will always be good and faithful amen amen, amen. 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 hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah yeah we want to stand one more time on our feet and enter prayer and also pray for the word that we, sh we receive and for the children that are here today. We want to pray for you. So raise your voice wherever you are and proclaim the word that is proclaimed that is a word that they re the word that they receive is a word of life a word of strength so raise your voice say Lord thank you Lord thank you for because your word is so wonderful it is so precious Lord your word gives life the word that has been given to us shall so, so strengthen us and shall so also teach us and gives us revelation so that we can and also refresh and admonish us Father the same with us the same with the children that they are also blessed Lord blessed through the time by the time that they can share that they are a blessing in this church and that they are blessed in this church that they are under your protection Lord that they receive the word the word in their hearts that they can receive it in their hearts take it in in the name of Jesus thank you Father Hallelujah. We keep on standing. We are soldiers of Christian of Chris of Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You are lifted up high. You are lifted up high in this nation, in this city, in Germany and in the nations. Father, we um, rejoice this time. The prophets during this time, they, they researched, they looked if the promises was for them, but no, it was for us. It was given to us. And that's why we thank you. We, we are grateful that you have given us the, this pr promise and that you opened the ways to you, the way to you, that we are convinced that through your, our lives and through your church, you will want to do something in this nation. Father, we give our lives to, to you. We give everything that we have to you. Oh Lord, thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. Thank you for my brother and my sister. Thank you for your church. Because your church lives. Because your church overcomes and they will win like you win. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we give you the leading in all that we do and all that we plan. Be our leader. Give us the thoughts of the heaven. Give us the strength of heaven. In the name of Jesus, say, say Lord, fill me with your presence, with your might. Fill me with fire. Your fire. I want to be in fire. I want to be in fire. Give me the fullness of the Spirit. Give me the fullness of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, because it is written, you will you will receive a power and give me your strength, Lord. Give me your strength, Lord. I want to walk in strength. I want to walk in the strength of the Spirit, the same as Jesus did. Amen. You can take a seat. I bless all our visitors. Well, you're not visitors because all those who have Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord are not visitors. They are at home. You are at home. Amen. Why are we here today? Why? Why are we here today? Because we decided to follow Jesus. Amen. What does it mean to follow Jesus? Through Jesus, we have the characteristics of God because we are out of God. We came out of Him. And he created us um, according to his image. He created us according to his image and his similarity. And we come out from him, out of him. And because of the sin, we have lost his characteristics. We have lost the thoughts of God. We have lost our reignship. We have lost our dominion. There are also other people who have lost their dominion. The angels, right. The angels, they have lost also their dominion and their position in heaven, some of them. And the same as Adam and Eve sinned, everything that God, that God gave to, to the people at first Moses, Genesis, we lost it. We lost the identity of God and of Jesus. The Jesus that came to, to the world, like Jesus was in his movement, in his, in his way of speaking, in his behavior, in his character, the same we were at the beginning of creation. When the first human was created, he was one-to-one -one as Jesus Christ. But after the fall, after the sin, this this one-to-one -one, um, copy or image was lost. We lost the identity of God and we, we took the identity of Satan. We, we lost the garment of Jesus and then we took the, took the um, garments of Satan. That's why the Bible called us the, um, the son of the of lie, of the devil, of the temptation. Because from the coming from the identity of God to the identity of Satan. But Jesus Christ came to bring us to bring us out of the identity of Satan to the identity of Christ. And it's important that we understand this while we are newborn. You're not simply newborn to simply go to the he to heaven. No. The first aim of your um, being newborn is to come back to God, to have an, a renewed identity, an identity that God has given you before the world, before the creation of the world, That's to the, that you deny and reject the works of the world and Satan, because he is the Lord, Satan is the Lord over the world, he reigns over all, there's nothing beautiful in the world. And that's why the Bible says the Lord of the world comes, but there's nothing of him in me. Are you, are you ready to say right, that the Lord of the world, so Satan is here, but there's nothing in me? Can you tell? Can you say that his, his thoughts, his attitudes, his identity, his way of speaking, his movements, his temptation, his manipulation, control is not in me? Because I am from heaven. I am Jesus Christ. I, I was born in Jesus Christ and I was set in heavenly realms with him. I am in the spirit. So why we uh, why we why why have we been um, uh, set in heavenly realms with Jesus Christ? Because our repentance and our conversion starts in the spirit, but not our soul. 
nur unsere Geist, weil Only Gott ist Geist, die mit der Herstellung findet es statt spirit. im Geist. Okay? Und dann durch unsere Bewegung mit Jesus im Wort, in Gemeinschaft, im Fasten, ins Gebet, And only through, through fasting, there only through fasting and prayer, um, our our soul can be renewed uh, through the studying of the world, our and companionship and presence with God. We realize uh, our our soul and emotions will be renewed. Our thoughts will be renewed. They have to be renewed. We are in the world, we have the flesh, and we have the attitudes of the world, we have the philosophy of the world, we have everything from the world, and now it's a fight, it's a battle to take out everything, to the um, strongholds of arrogance, of pride, of anger, of bitterness. All those strongholds that have been built in us, they have to be taken away, taken out. That's why Jesus came and he comes, enters the synagogue and he takes the book of Isaiah 61, opens it and reads it out loud and saying, the, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Why? Because God has anointed me. Why did God anoint Jesus? Because the anointing is the, the power of God in you and the ability of God in you to do your, his works. Without his anointing, you cannot do the works of God. But with But, but Jesus was sent, and the same way Jesus was sent, you are sent. The, the, the church has been and, and also anointed. But when Jesus read it, he, he anointed me. Why? Why did the Spirit of God anoint it? He let us read it in Luke 4, 18. Luke 4, 18 to 19. Why was he? Um, why was he um, anointed? So it was to to bring uh, good news to the poor people. To preach the gospel to the poor, he has sent me to heal the broken hearted. Second, third, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and fourth, and recovery of sight to the blind. Fifth, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, and sixth, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Can you imagine this, the same anointing that Jesus received, the same anointing has been given to the church. The same anointing has been given to you and me. Why? So that we can do the same works, the same ways as Jesus Christ. Amen. That's the task. If we look for 18 to 19, we recognize, we get revelation of the true church and true task uh, of the church. The true mission of the church is not to meet and to only be in um, deliverance or only be in the world. No, the whole mission we shall fulfill. And this is one of our biggest problems in this nation that we have to fight against. And we started with a topic, and the main topic is overcoming at the gates of the church. Who knows this word? I, I will build my church, and the, the gates of hell of death will not overcome them. Do you know that churches have gates? That, do you know that uh, the life of a person has gates or doors? There are for, uh, um, in, in your thoughts, for example, or in sexuality. When you are provoked to do sex, sex um, out of, out of um, marriage. So something in you that is not according to the Spirit of God is, is leading you to rebel and to sin against God. Amen. Lies, for example. I don't say that if you have lies, you, you have demons, but if you're constantly in lies, then some, then a, a spirit of lie can enter you. If you live in impurity, then a spirit of impurity can come upon you or in you. So Jesus Christ t tells us that we overcome at the gates of our enemy. And then we have this um, this scripture of Rebecca when, he, when she entered marriage and um, her, 
her father told her, your um, descendants will hold the gates of his, uh, their enemies. And then Yosha comes in, in Deuteronomy 7. If you enter the country, you have to enter the gates of your enemies. You have to if you conquer the gates of the enemies. Then Deuteronomy 7, you will, you will meet all those tribes, all your enemies, but you have to... Um, um, you have to ban them fully and you shall not marry your children to them. Or I'm, mixed marriages shall not happen even as a newborn Christian. So a newborn Christian, oh, a, world, um, a woman of the world, oh, she's beautiful, I will lead her to Jesus Christ. It's a lie. I tell you 100%. If I, 10 marriages that um, came out of it, um, we had problems because there are two spirits. It's a, it's a spirit of, of light, a marriage is the spirit of darkness. So if someone who is in, in, in the world is still in darkness, someone who is still Catholic, he is in darkness. 100%, you maybe say I'm exaggerating. If someone who repents as a Catholic, the first step he does, he takes, comes out of this directly. He comes out of, out of Babylon, out of this, of this idol worshiping. He directly comes out of this Catholicism. If someone tells us he is a witness of Jehovah, no, yes, if we repent, and if we meet, if you meet um, the light, Jesus Christ, then you will deny, um, deny uh, the witnesses of Jehovah. But those who are repentant, uh, those who keep on going into the same same churches, they are not truly delivered and not truly free or even converted. No, the church of God is Christ. It's Christ. And if you want to be a disciple of Christ, a follower of Christ, you have to tonight reject all that he denied and lay down everything that he... You have to separate separate you from all that he separates him of. If, if you follow him, you have to take his, your cross and follow him. Yes, the sin, I cannot... Um, separate me from it. No, because you don't want because when the Holy Spirit is in you He gives you the, the, um, the strength to overcome the sin, death and the world. We have to overcome. The same as Jesus overcome, we will, do, we will walk the same ways. One to one. Why, why are you Christ, Christian? It, seem, it is to say Amen. that you look like Jesus Christ. To be called a Christian is that I am looking like Jesus. For many people, it's a process, yes, but the, the will, but the will has to be there to go the ways of the Lord. Lord, give me the strength to look like Jesus, to speak like Jesus, to behave like Jesus, to move like Jesus. Give me the, give me the strength to have the heart of Jesus in me. Are you ready to go these ways? Are you truly decided to do so? It's not an easy way, but you have um, a helper, and it's the Holy Spirit. There's nothing that the Holy Spirit cannot overcome, where he cannot break through. He is the Spirit of God. He is the Holy Spirit, one-to-one, -one, uh, God in you, who helps you in this dark world to move in this dark world. Amen. And the Holy Spirit, so that he can move with you, he needs the word of God in you. He is not moving without the word of God. Many are baptized in the Spirit, and they visit churches, and they're Christians, but don't read the Word of God. How can the Spirit, Holy Spirit can lead you? Because um, the Word is a, a light shining for your feet. So the Holy Spirit comes. He sees the light in you. The Word is present. He takes the Word that ha you, you have in your belly and, and brings it up and gives it to you as a revelation, as a re and God speaks to you through the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit can only know the language of the Word. He doesn't know any other language. He, does, he only simply need, knows the language of the Word. If you don't have the Word of God, you cannot listen to the Holy Spirit. It's impossible. 
The, word, the people of the world, they cannot listen to okay. the Holy Spirit. But angels can appear to them. Okay. The, 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 the people of the world, they cannot... The Holy Spirit is only for those people who believe in Jesus Christ. So the Jews and Israel, they don't have the Holy Spirit. So that's why they cannot repent and convert, because the Holy Spirit uh, leads them to... Um, to to repentance, to convict them. They receive the Holy Spirit the day they, they, they repent, because in the, old, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Holy Spirit only came after Pentecost. Two steps, John 20, Jesus appears and he... Um, Amen. He blows and says, uh, receive the Holy Spirit. And then there is a second step. According to Acts 1.8, you will receive a power. And this, this power is the, and this strength is the Holy Spirit, the baptism in the Holy Spirit, where the ability comes and they live in you. And without the baptism in the Spirit, you cannot serve. Only the power. Uh, without the power, you cannot serve. If you are a man of God here and you serve without the power of God, no. Go withdraw fast and pray and say, Lord, I need this power of God because without the power of God, you cannot heal people. You cannot cast out demons. Uh, demons need people who have anointing and strong. You as a uh, wife, a uh, woman or man, you need uh, the power to heal sick people and to cast out demons and you need the, the power the person that stands before he has a broken heart, he has, he has been raptured, raptured, he cannot love, he cannot stay in a marriage, you have to heal his heart before you can send him into marriage. People come and they are in love and they love, but their heart, heart is broken. And, but he cannot enter into the marriage and he will treat his wife so badly that she will uh, enter depression. She came healthy into the marriage, but because the, ma the man has a broken heart from uh, coming out of his family, from the foundations he came from, but the church did not see that in, his, in this man there is a broken heart. You have to bring him through healing before he, he marries our sister. And after two, three years, the marriage is broken down. You see, and the brother no, no longer coming into marriage. He's no longer reading the Bible because according to Ezekiel 16, um, at your birth, no one um, cleaned you with water and, and salt. No one taught you. Many are newborn and they're in churches, as Ezekiel 16 said, but no one took truly care of them. Yes, we say, yeah, welcome, sister, and one member more, 10 members more, 100 members more, 1,000 members more. Wow, wow, we are the biggest church in this nation. Is this the aim of the gospel? No, no, I, no. Better I go to, to Africa and build my farm, and I fought against lions. I remember when I was a child, I had to walk 10 kilometers in a jungle. You can scream. No one, no one is um, saying, oh, no, you cannot be loud. But uh, the kingdom of God is so full of pride pe prideful people. This is why na the nation, uh, by God, is withdrawing from this nation. We build churches, yes, beautiful churches. But the souls are dead. I, I cried in churches here in Germany, and I said, Lord, give, just give me one, one hour in this church. Give me just one hour. I just want to stand for, for, on, the, on the stage and say, uh, and scream Jesus for one hour, because I know if I... If I call upon the name of Jesus for one hour, demons will con um, manifest and they leave. And, and broken people will come forward and, and uh, repent and, and, and then they can go home healed. People, this is the church. People come um, broken, but they go home healed. Dear brother and sister, I don't have anything against church, but but if you go to a church for 10 years and you're not healed, demons will not be cast out. 
are in a grave. You are in a um you are in a cemetery. No one is casting demons. No one heals you. No one heals you. Then you live in a cemetery and you will keep on dying there. I'm not telling you to leave your churches, but God can, because God can also use you in this church, but you need the equipment to do so. Who is baptized in the Spirit here? You're praying tongues, right? Who has prophesied already? Who had a word of um, prophecy or wisdom or knowledge? Who cast out demons? Not just not 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 even the half of you. But but what does the Bible say? You will cast out demons. Did, they, did it say uh, prophets or pastors? No, you shall cast out demons. Mark 16. When I started serving God, the first verse that touched me was Mark 16, 15 to 18. I came to my pastor and said, Pastor, I'm here for five years. We never cast out demons. What is happening here? Pastor, I am for five years now. You are still young. You don't understand, he said to me. I said, no, it has nothing to do with being young. For five years I'm here in this, in this church, and ne never has a, a demon has been cast out. And one week later, a man of God of Par from Paris came, and he was preaching for 30 minutes, and almost the whole church was starting to vomit. It started manifesting. And when I saw it, and I said, no, 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 it's not possible, that someone has to come so far to cast out demons. And I went to my pastor and said, Pastor, what is happening here? Tell me, what is going on? Have we Jesus Christ or not? He said, yes. Is the Holy Spirit here, yes or no? No, he's not here, I said. Why? Because I see people, they don't are convicted, convict, convicted of sin. They, they play music, worship, and they live in sexual sin. Everybody, and everyone knows that they are unmarried. Is she married? No. Where do children come from? From heaven? Only Mary received children from the Holy Spirit. The sisters said, are you the new Mary? I asked the pastor, is she the new Mary? But every year, we, we give gifts. Our sister has another gift. Another child. No, that's so my daughter. As long as you don't tell me where the children come from, I won't go there. I must know where the children come from. Yes, you're extremist. Jesus was extremist. I'm just following him. You can die in a church when you're emotional. Yes, he's my pastor. He's speaking like this. I love the way he speaks. He's so beautiful. I just stay in this church. Oh. Your pastor will bring you to the grave. Where should be my church? We have a band. When they see the band is full of the people full of demons and the day. In the church, it's not about emotions and feelings. It's about life and death. The church is the executing power of God and the nations. In heaven, in the heavenly world, the angels are fighting, but on the earth, the humans are fighting. And when we don't fight, the angels cannot fight. Do you know that the church is the gate of heaven and earth? It's proof in the Bible. Jacob comes to a place and he sleeps there. And at night, he sees the heaven open. How did he call this place? How did he call this place? Bethel. Is it the same place where Abraham came to and called the same place? It's the house of the Lord. And when Jacob came back, he was blessed. How did you call this place? El Bethel. The God who dwells in his house, all right? And what were the attributes of this place? The heaven was open. It was a ladder. The angels came, the went up and came down. This is the church in a city. This is the church in a nation. The church is the access door to heaven in this city, in Lanham. But this door can be closed when the church is infiltrated, when the church is distracted, when the church moves in the wrong ways, when the church allows yes, must be attractive to the world. 
Why do we have to be attractive as a church? We don't have to be attractive. The world will hate you. Just like they have hated me, they will hate you. No one loves me in the church. Yes, I will leave this church because no one loves me. You come here to be loved? No. Just Jesus must love you. God works in me. Maybe the love is not perfected in you and you expect that I love you? You lose your time. Pray that God would embody me and then I will give you the perfect uh, love. Come to church and seek for Jesus. He's the perfect love. Come to church and seek for Jesus. He's the perfect perfection. Your brother will give you a word that can hurt you. And you will leave the church. The church is maybe the place of your blessing, but you leave the church because no one prays for me. Yes, I want to go to the forest, go for a walk with brothers. You didn't come to go for a walk in the forest. You came first to experience Jesus. Experience Jesus first. Then at one place, the pastor comes and tells you, come, let's go for a walk in the forest. Hallelujah. I want to see Jesus in you. I want to see your character. The church is here to change your character. You came here proud. Your pride must die here. You came here haughty. Your haughtiness must die here. You came here to pass it. Depressing. Your depression must die here. You came here in bitterness. Your bitterness, we must work in it. I don't work on you. Uh, who will carry me when I'm... Uh, tired in the end. You cannot be in the church for three years. You're always the same. And no change. No. You cannot be in church for ten years, always with the same things at night. I've experienced people, as soon as they close their eyes, a spirit comes, has sexuality with them. They go to the pastor, no, you're, you're crazy, you're crazy. Do you know that spirits can have sexuality with women and men? converted women and men. You sleep at night, you have the impression someone has sex with you. You sleep at night, you have the impression someone has torn your clothes and has sexuality with you. Many Christians don't dare to speak about that, but they experience that at night. These things have names. In a Greek mythology, they're called skubus and ankubus. They are spiritual um, husbands and wives. That's biblical. Isn't it not, is it not normal when you have one, two, three times sex in a night? You're attacked by the powers of darkness. And don't allow this. Stand up and uh, ask brothers to uh, cast it out. Why? Because they take hold of your destiny. It can be people who are alive who attack you. It can be um, a husband or wife who's in witchcraft. You're, you're separated from them, but he's still connected in his soul. Do you know that there, it's uh, covenants in the soul have power from the family, from the friends, and so on? And we as church are tasked is to know these things, to know the ways of God. But we don't neglect the ways of Satan. Many want to close their eyes, see yeah, how we speak too much about Satan. But when you look at the Bible, it is spoken about Satan so much. Why is Jesus speaking so much about Satan? Why is Jesus casting out so many demons? He wanted to show us so when we don't do this, they will infiltrate us. They will take control of the church. Who has heard it, that the church was uh, divided? Who has experienced that? Yes. Amen. Who has experienced in a church that it was there was a dispute or the charge started and then sin was accepted everywhere and it was tolerated everything was tolerated every time you experience division it means that the works of darkness have infiltrated the church and destroyed it every time you see the church that it starts in the spirit at one point you start uh, judge, justifying everything. The pastor all of the sudden divorces, takes a secretary or a sister in a church. You must know the church is under the works of darkness. I want to say something. Satan will never come as Satan into the church. He comes through people into the church. Through people. When we are 200 here, you will see at least 10 there from Satan. It might surprise you, but it's the bitter truth. Why do they come? 
they come. In Job chapter 1, the sons of God have come together. Satan came into their midst. Weren't they the sons of God? The sons of God were the angels. They came together. Satan came in the congregation as well. Did God tell you, Satan, you're not allowed to come in here? No, Satan is allowed to come into church. He's allowed to enter to every church. As long as he's the prince of this world, he is allowed to come. Why? God sometimes allows that Satan comes to test us. He sometimes allows that Satan comes that we enter higher into the prayer. When everything goes well here, no sickness, no problems. At one point we say, ah, we're already arrived in heaven, we don't have to pray anymore. And this is why the spiritual in Germany and Europe has died. I told you this here. When the economy goes up, after the Second World War, we have such a strong economic uh, breakthrough in Germany, a politic uh, breakthrough, a scientific breakthrough, but the church has slept. Politic power is up there. Economic power and the science is up there, but spiritual is going down. And that's also what happened to Ukraine. There was a breakthrough in the Ukraine. Ukraine has had an awakening. And the multiplication of the Christians in Ukraine was so strong. Dr. Rodessel, we are expecting here, he was in Ukraine, he was in the midst of the Jews. The Jews have adopted him as a student. He has brought many Jews to conversion. He wrote a book. He said, God has blessed Ukraine so suddenly, financially, they were blessed. The churches were filled with rich people, multi millionaires. The um, leader of Kiev was in the church of Sandy Adelaide. Have you heard of him? He was the prophet in Europe that had the biggest church in Ukraine. He, this man was blessed. He has written books. He was faithful to God. But at one point, he connected to Americans. The Americans brought uh, prosperity into his church. And you can imagine, in the church, there were uh, bankiers, rich um, bankers, multi-billionaires, and they came with their gospel. When you give 10 millions now to this project, God will give you 100 million back. In the beginning, it worked out. Satan is always giving you a little bit back. People gave 10 millions, received 30, gave, uh, received 50 million back. They said, wow. And then when people invested a lot, they fled with the money. And the son of Elijah, his ministry fell. He uh, let himself be deceived. He fell away completely. And back then, Dr. Dessel, he was fasting for 40 years. God calls him and says, T uh, record everything I'm telling you. You will go to the two biggest churches in the nations and give it to them. He went to Sunday Adelaide and also there was another man of God. He gave it to them. They didn't take it seriously. And God told told Dr. Odessel, pack your things. You go to West Africa. I'll send you there for a short time. God wanted to tell him. God didn't want to tell him directly, you're going to leave this nation. When he arrived there, he called the churches in Ukraine, which he has founded, and said, I will not come back. If you know, start packing your things and leave the country, God will judge this country. They didn't believe him. But when this war came, they understood that this was the judgment of God. Do you think God uh, destroys a nation like Ukraine just for nothing? Do you think it's a coincidence that war starts over there? No. But with emotions, you say, uh, donate for Ukraine, we run to donate. Oh, the, the Russians are kill because the Russians are killing, we uh, um, develop hatred against them. No. I hate the politics, not the Russians. I hate the politics, not the Ukrainians. The Ukrainians are our brothers and sisters. The Russians are our brothers. Don't be um, 
Like, take, don't take party in this. Also, in the war against Israelites and Palestinians, the Israelites must convert as well. Israel experiences that because they didn't listen to the voice of God back then. If they would have listened to the voice of God back then, all of this would not have happened. We love our brothers from Israel. We come from Israel. Amen? But we must pray that God will touch them, that people convert, that people uh, get to know Yeshua. The church is not led by emotions. No, it is led by the Spirit. When you are too emotional, you will miss what God wants to give you right now. We're in a time of the fulfillment of the prophecies. I spoke to the pastor Emery yesterday. He's in Israel, his two daughters. One is 20 years old, the other one is 19 years old. They went to war. One came to war and uh, went to war and came back. But yesterday, when I talked to him, they received uh, a call two hours before you must go back, you must go to the front in the war. His two daughters. And he says, Amen of God. I, I said, You chose the land of prophecy to live there. You will experience the prophecy. You're, you're right now experiencing the. the fulfillment of the prophecy. He laughed and said, yes, man of God, I could flee, but my daughters are here. I must stay. He said, yes, the Jews must go through all these things. But it's a time also in which God is giving a sign to the church. The church must be awakened. You are the church of God. The ministries in the church must be awakened. When the ministries are not awakened, he said, one of the ministries that will be awakened firstly in these last times is the prophets. The prophets must be awakened. Who is believing in the fivefold ministry? Who believes that the fivefold ministry are necessary? Amen. Amen. The fivefold ministries are necessary at the end of this time. And the first ministry that's, that should be awakened is the ministry of the prophet. Why this one? Why? So that the prophet sees and opens the eyes to others. Amen. And so that the prophet, he received the leadership of from God and he gives it to others and the other ministries will enter through this opening and do their works. In this way, apostles will rise up in this nation. Teachers will rise up in this nation. Um, evangelists will rise up in this nation. Pastors will rise up in this nation. Churches cannot just be led by the pastor. This is a wrong way. It's not the way of the Holy Spirit. Because the church has a mission to uh, bring the people out of hell, to, uh, to plunder souls from the realm of Satan and bring it to, to, to the kingdom of God. This is our task as a church. Through evangelization, through intercession, through prayer, we must, go to the, we must be watchful at the gates of this nation. We have not been watchful. What happened in this nation? The gates were opened. We had over five million refugees. We as nation, we're allowed to receive people. But we must know, every time when foreign peoples come into a nation, they go with their gods. Amen? Before we receive people, we as a church, when we see that the gates of the nation open up, and many people come from the Middle East, from Africa, from everywhere into the nation. When they come in peace to build peace, yes. When they come with God's will to build the altar of God in Germany, yes. But when they come with their foreign gods, then we cannot tolerate it. But we allowed everything. We say, oh, the poor one, oh, this poor one, oh, that poor one. No, not everyone who looks poor is poor. Oh, this poor one. Oh. You know, Muslims, just like we Christians, everywhere we go, we go with our God, okay? Our God dwells within us. Muslims, they come into a country, they come with a God. What do they we start, go to Ludwigshafen? There are mosques almost everywhere, in the basement, in the skyscraper, everywhere mosques in the Ludwigshafen. There are so many mosques in Ludwigshafen you can barely imagine. Mannheim. I know I was speaking about Mannheim. Mosque means um, the taking over of the ground. Taking over of the ground. Church means we're taking the ground of this nation. And I told you, when mosques are being built, when Hindu temples are being built, 
people from Pakistan are coming with their waves. People from India coming with their waves. People from Iran, Syria, different uh, areas of Syria. You see, all of them come with their waves. People from Africa come with their waves. Voodoo, witchcraft, people from South America. It is where Europe has been raped. And Europe is experiencing a rape. And in this rape, our Christian seed has died. They've laid their seeds. And altars are communicating with one another. A mosque in the north is communicating with a Hindu temple. The Hindu temple is communicating with a Baal temple. The Baal temple is communicating with all kinds of temples, Bahrain, Hindu, and so on. Mormonic temple, everything comes together. Just with the true church, they cannot connect. And believe me, in the spirit, they know that Tabernacle Church is here. They know that CZM, ICF, but look, ICF, CZM, and so on, GSK, it's, uh, is, it full there? is a fire there. And when there is no fire, they say, we're controlling it. But when they realize there is fire in your house, they will bring problems into your marriage so that there will always be uh, disputes with your wife. You're disputing. You know what that is? It's distraction. A married couple that are always disputing, it cannot pray efficiently. A married couple that is fighting one another cannot pray efficiently. This is why when I see people uh, are being divorced because, yeah, my mood is not fitting to his mood, uh, my my lust is not fitting to his lust. Where am I home? Like, why? People are getting divorced for every small thing. Yes, he's earning more money than I am getting divorced. Yes, he's giving me less money. A Christians even. Any, every marriage that uh, breaks down that's getting divorced. There are reasons like sickness and so on, they're being divorced. But you always must fight that marriages will uh, pre prevail because they're the foundation of the church. And when Satan is attacking a church, he's attacking in three areas. All right? He attacked Jesus in three areas. In the spirit, in the soul, and in the body. Read Luke 4. He's showing him He's attacking in your three areas, spirit, body, and soul. And when Satan is attacking a church or a family, he's firstly attacking the spiritual life. When he's not able to delete your prayer life, to delete the word life, he will attack in the soul. Everything you're connecting to in the soul, your children are being attacked, your wife is attacked. In, in the school, they're not, they don't have peace. At work, they don't have peace. You're emotional, you're heart beating, you start being fearful. Well, you're not able to sleep at night, you're depressive because of work. A Christian who's depressive because of work, he didn't understand. Because of work, I, I, I just quit. When I cannot quit, I have my prayer house. I pray, I say to my boss, I take three weeks of vacation. The boss says, okay, take it. Three weeks of vacation. I don't go to the Maldives or Sardinians or however it's called. I go into church. I lock the door in a church. Three weeks. I fast and pray. When I come back, hello colleagues, how are you? Peace be with you, right? I have bound the spirits and they will start uh, serving me coffee. <laughs> You're a king in Jesus Christ. A colleague is uh, bullying you and you go and you cry. A colleague is uh, mocking against you and bullying you. You can bully a child of God. No. I mean, it's a child of God. A child of God. You know what it means, a child of God? When your husband is making you problems, go to your knees. Pray. Don't answer. Say, I will... Uh, I don't calculate you. That's what you say in French. I don't calculate you. You go into your room on the knees. Lord, you've given me this husband. But Lord, I never receive flowers from him, Lord. Uh, it's an example, right? Lord, you know I love him, but he's so egoistic. He's so uh, full of anger. He's treating me like the last, like a slave. Lord, have mercy, but Lord, give him a little uh, slap in the face so that he really gets down, right? God will do it. When the man is not honoring you according to God, 
when a woman is not treating you according to how God wants it, you don't have to argue with him or her. Go and fight with the one who has given this husband to you. Go and fight with the one who has given you this wife. I've promised with my marriage. Once my wife said, oh, I cannot anymore, I cannot anymore. She goes, um, God uh, told her, go to the Christian library, take this book and read it. And the Lord told me, if you want that he's being changed, you first must be changed. Let, let, me work, let me work on you first. Don't argue. Don't fight anymore. And you will see how I'm going to work. And she started doing what God called her. She saw changes in me. A man cannot change another person, but God can change you. We always have problems in a marriage because we want to change the other one. We want that the other one looks like I want. He must do what I want. He must move the way I want. You're not twins. <laughs> Everyone is born somewhere else. I mean, your husband came from a house where the father treated the mother badly. He learned it. Amen. Amen. They came from a house where the wives have to uh, do the eyes like this when they speak to the husband. He's expecting from you now. So he's learned it that way, even if he's a Christian. He has these seeds within him. The wife came from a house where the mother had the control and had the staff, like almost all women in Germany. I didn't say anything. I just read it. <laughs> Who is leading the houses here in Germany? Who is the staff? Men must go back into their authority. Authority means protection. Authority means love. Authority means an atmos creating an atmosphere at home where everyone is feeling well. This is authority. Authority doesn't mean, do you know that I'm a man here? You must bow. I'm the boss here. It is written. No. Authority means you carry a wife. She feels protected in your hands. She feels safe in your hands. This is authority. Jesus has authority. How do we feel in the hands of Jesus Christ? Is he always insulting us? And, uh, uh, is he always scolding us and attacking us? Before you attack your wife, look if Jesus has attacked his wife. Before every insult that you're uh, saying against your husband or wife, you say the same insult against yourself. You won. Every curse you're saying against your wife, you're cursing yourself. You're cursing your children, you're cursing yourself. It is a seed that will always come back and hit you, but worse. Church of God, we must go back into the place where God is expecting us. We are born and born again to conquer, to overcome, to be victorious, to rule. The dominion must come back into the church. Hallelujah. The dominion must come back into church. I'm reading two, three Bible verses, and then we will pray soon. Second Corinthians 3. Uh, when our gospel is uh, concealed, it is concealed with those who will get lost. No one is getting lost here. Amen? The gospel is not allowed to be prevailed, um, hidden in front of you. The unbelievers, which God of this world time has blinded the senses, the God of this world time. Who is the God of this time of the world? Satan. Satan with his princes, with his army. So that the bright light of the gospel cannot uh, gloom or shine up in front of them which is the equality of God. For the appearance of Christ on earth, we read Matthew 4.12. You heard of Sabalon and Naphtali who dwelt in a darkness. A light has appeared to them. A light was uh, shining before them. I pray that this light would shine to your family, everyone who are not converted into your family. It is written, when we believe, we and our family are 
being saved. We must bring this light into our family. Amen? And no one will be lost. Luke 4, 18 is what we have read. In the end, Jesus Christ was, uh, has encountered Satan in the desert. He gave the first uh, defeat to Satan in the desert. It was a battle, right? You know this. A battle. Jesus went to the desert where Satan came and told him, if you're the son of God, his identity was uh, at stake. At stake. If he was the son of God, are you a daughter of God? I cannot hear an amen. You're not convinced, right? <laughs> it's slowly coming. Are you a daughter of God? I'm not. I am not saying to the man. Huh? Are you a daughter of God? Are you a son of God? Start behaving like a son of God. Like a daughter of God. To know how a daughter and a son of God is moving and behaving, you realize is this and see this in a movement of Jesus Christ. If you're a son of God, if you're called to serve God, if you're called... Satan will always come with the if. Doubts. Doubts. Doubts of your marriage. Doubts about your work. Doubts about your calling. Doubts about your true identity in Jesus Christ. When you believe from your heart, you are a child of God. Not believing from the heart, your head, but from your heart. You are a child of God. Jesus gave a defeat to Satan at the cross of, uh, in the desert. And then the battle went on uh, on Calvary. Through the battle, through the victory of Jesus at the cross, we received the cleansing in us. We received the destruction of sin in us. We received the destruction of the works of Satan in us. This is why it says the Son of God has appeared to destroy the works of Satan. Through his victory on the cross of Calvary, we must establish the, and force the victory of Christ in our territory. We must destroy all seals of Satan over the hearts of people. We can do this in intercession by raising our voices in this nation and say everywhere where people are moving in Germany where Satan has laid a seal in their heart so that they won't convert, we step against it. And one thing is also important that we say all synagogues of Satan all mosques all Hindu temples that um, bring a false um, message into the air of this nation so that people won't convert we step against it in the name of Jesus Christ and we command that the souls experience freedom to hear the voice of God and to convert because such synagogues such mosques, such mosques their task and mission is to bring a voice into the air, into the wind, into the air of the city, to constantly bring this voice there so that people are becoming depressive. Have you been in the Muslim states already? People are very depressive. People are very dark. Everywhere where mosques have been, are being built, where, who was in Istanbul? We all were in Istanbul a short time ago. All 600 meters, there is a mosque. Hmm? 300, 300, 300, 600, there is a mosque. Why? The control of the people, the control over the air, the control over the atmosphere, the control over the houses, the families. In this same way, they are about to do the same thing here, but not just Muslims, but Hindus and all these uh, directions of the belief. Also, Catholicism is a high tower of the Satan. Satan is moving a lot in Catholicism. 
This is why when you see churches are meeting with Catholics, with Protestants and so on, they pray together, flee away from this place. You're in a place which is preparing the coming back of the Antichrist. Ecumenia is the preparation of the coming of the Antichrist. All churches that move this way, flee away, flee away so far quickly, even if they call themselves Pentecostal and they meet with Catholics and so on. When you see such things in a church, if you're meeting with all kinds of uh, faith direction, you're, they're allowing that same sex, uh, people are being married, they serve in the church, flee from this church. You don't have to stay there. Your place is not there anymore. It is not about, no, it's my church. I, I, I grew up there as a child. Yeah, it's good for you, but when you stay there, you're going to die. When you realize here, all of a sudden we allow everything, flee away from this place. When we allow homosexuality, when we allow all things, flee away from this place. Everything we allow is what the Word of God is giving us to allow. Outside of the Word of God, we reject the other things. We reject the other things in the name of Jesus. Amen? It means just like Jesus Christ has uh, received the victory, we must receive the victory over territories, over all areas where Satan has brought his dominion. Amen? We must pray that the ministries are being awakened, are resurrected, resurrected, because we need a fivefold ministry to bring the church back into the dominion. Maybe in our midst we have apostles, we have prophets, we have teachers, we have evangelists, we have pastors. We pray that God will give the confirmation that God would awaken you in your ministry. Maybe you're born to organize intercession. Maybe you're born to lead men or women into battle. Maybe you're born to really build uh, altars of God into cities. So prayer houses, not a prayer house of Oxford, please, but prayer houses of God. Amen? Maybe you're born for that. Yes. Why are you laughing? The prayer house of Oxford is an infiltration and the church of God. This is why we must... Uh, remove our fingers from the uh, prayer house of us. It looks beautiful from the outside, but it's not from God. It is not the same God of the Bible. Because when a human says, I found um, a prayer house, he must separate himself from all things that are an, uh, an abomination to God. When someone says officially, I separate myself, doesn't say officially, I separate myself from Mary and angel worship, he's not converted. We must stop being naive. We must stop looking at things with emotions and feelings. It's going to kill us. But when we say, Lord, show me, are the foundations of love there? Are the foundations of the spirit there? Are the foundations of prayer there? Yes, then I'm going to go there. But when I realize there is a mixture, no, my soul is so important, I don't want to die. Amen? We will continue with this uh, topic next week. No, not next week, but next week we have. Uh, Tuesday we will continue, but Thursday we will just have prayer here because we are preparing the th uh, ministry, sir, uh, the deliverance ministry for three days that starts. Uh, Friday at 7 p.m. and continues Saturday morning 9:30 uh, a.m. to 1 p.m. and then in the afternoon we will answer questions concerning deliverance. Everyone who wants to work in the deliverance ministry and have questions, they can ask the question Saturday evening about like 6 p.m. and then Sunday morning we finish our th three-day seminar of deliverance. Amen. The areas in which we as church should do warfare are the three areas of the um, borders of a nation, air, ground, and water. Amen? Uh, water, like territorial borders must be um, conquered. Territorial borders must be opened so that angels can penetrate this country. Through prayer, we allow angels in the house and in the, to move in the country. In the end, God cannot move on earth without the allowance of humans. You understand? 
God has placed uh, the earth into the hands of the humans. The humans have placed the earth into the hands of Satan so that God could come back. He needs the human. This is why he came through Mary. But a woman named Hannah stayed in the temple and has opened the door, the access door for the Messiah. The prophet is Hannah. She fasted and prayed until the Messiah came. Amen. When we don't say, Lord, come into this city, he will not come. When you don't call God into your family, um, he always needs a human to call his name to a family who is praying for deliverance and healing in a family, a human who's sacrificing himself through his prayer nights. Father, my family needs you. My family, Father, I'm fighting against the altars, uh, the, the altars of free men that my father has built. I'm fighting against the voodoo altars that my grandfather has always built in, uh, in our place. We did a pendulum, we did a reading of cards, we did a sorcery. Through this, uh, altars have been created. Father, these altars that the people in my that are binding the people in my family, we stand against it, we destroy these altars. It is your task, it is your mission. And Gideon, so that God could move in Israel, God said to Gideon, the altar of your father is still standing. I cannot move here. God because the God that was called on this altar is the God who is ruling over this uh, country of this land. So that God can move, we first must destroy this altar. This is why God told Gideon, destroy this altar and build me an altar. From the moment the altar of Satan was destroyed, then God built another altar. Just like with Eli. Eli came to Israel where Baal and Astarte altars were built. He, oh, Elijah. He had to convict them. He had to um, expose them and destroy them. And then he uh, established and built the altar of God because without an altar there is no worship your house is an altar your life is an altar the altar is the place where God is encountering you meeting you the altar is the place where the name of God is being called and when the name of God is being called God is taking control over the ground your life is a ground your life is a city right? the city must be conquered amen this is why God is coming and living within you but all areas of the city city must be conquered. The thoughts are a part of the city. Your sexuality is a part of the city. Marriage is a part of the city. Finances are a part of the city. This is why in John 10 verse 10, the devil comes to seek, kill, and destroy. When he enters into you, he's controlling the gates of your thoughts. He's sending thoughts to you so that you think the way he thinks. And when you think the way the devil thinks, oh, I'm an idiot, I'm dumb, I cannot do anything, you think the way he thinks, then he can control you further. But from the moment you start accepting the thoughts of God, and think the way God thinks, from this moment, you're on the way of overcoming. You're on the way of breaking through. Hallelujah. You're on the way of uh, taking over the grounds of your life. Not, not God uh, conquered Canaan. The Israelites conquered Canaan. God uh, brought them out of Egypt. He led them into the desert. He fought with them. But in Canaan, he says, now, you must conquer the country. God says, now it's your task to conquer the ground. I brought you into the desert. I, I fought with you in Egypt, for you in Egypt. But Canaan, you must conquer it. But God is warning the Israelites. He says, in Canaan, there are seven mighty peoples. When you enter there, destroy their uh, memory places, destroy their altars, destroy their uh, idols and so on. God sent them. And in the same way, it's with you. You converted, and now you should conquer your Canaan, but not alone, through the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, we can stand up in the presence of God. Where is Shayu? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to pray. I don't know how you came here today. But God has called you as a conqueror to conquer the ground of this nation and the ground worldwide. But we must pray and say, Lord, every hindrance of these attributes in me shall be destroyed. Everything that's, that can block me 
from worshiping to from adora adoration from praises everything that's a hindrance in my house father kill all hindrances you know your brothers and sisters when um, Israel fell into sin. Moses came from the mountain and says, Call the intercessors. Call father, mother, brothers, and so on. Kill everything. What does it mean? Kill all seeds. Kill all words. Kill all tools of Satan. Kill all thoughts. They don't come out from heaven, from the heavenly regions. Kill them. Say, Lord, I reject these, this bad mood is always coming. I reject this. I reject, Father, this uh, emotional tiredness. Father, free me from this. Free me from all demons, all demonic attacks in the name of Jesus. Raise your voice and start praying. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Say, Lord, forgive me that I uh, accepted the thoughts of Satan. Forgive me that I have doubts. Forgive me every time where I was in the wrong way, Father. Forgive me where I believe the temptation of Satan. Forgive me, O Lord. Forgive me, O Lord. And come to my aid today. Destroy all seeds, all works of Satan, all areas where Satan has control of my life, in my house, in my marriage. In my sleep, where I have uh, interruption of sleep, where I cannot sleep at night, Father, where I have uh, bad dreams, where I'm being attacked in all areas of my life, where my ministry is being paralyzed. Oh, Father, come to my aid. Father, come to my aid. Father, come to my aid. Oh, Father, come to my aid. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Pray, pray, pray. You say your word. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord, oh Father, come and save me. Save me from the this need. Save me from tiredness. Save me from depression. Save me from demonic attacks in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, save me. Save me. Oh Lord, save me. Oh Lord, make me free. Make me free from all demonic attacks, from all satanic attacks. Make me free, O oh Lord. Set me free, O oh Lord. I want to serve you. I want to walk with you. I want to experience your mighty hand. Set me free, O oh Lord. Set me free, O oh Lord, from all uh, bindings, from all seeds of Satan, from all forces of Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. Set me free, O oh Lord. Set me free, O oh Lord. Set me free, O oh Lord, from all bindings. Set me free, O oh Lord. Set me free, O oh Lord. Set me free today. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every spirit who's keeping me in bindings, get out of my life. Get out of my house. All lies of Satan. All lies of Satan. I'm worthy. I'm not worthless. I'm worthy. I'm not worthless. God made me worthy. God made me wonderful. God has loved me. He has loved me first. God has loved me first. Oh, hallelujah. I receive the love of God. I receive the trust in God. I trust my God. I trust my Redeemer. He's my commander, my Savior. I love Him more than everything else in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive the power, the power to overcome. I receive the power against to enter against the works of Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit that is keeping my sister bound or my brother bound and is hindering to execute the works of, uh, of God in your life. Let go and leave. Your chains are being broken. Your bindings are being broken. Let go and leave. Satan, we come against your works. We come against your plans. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. 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 Let go leave. Let her go. Let her go in the name of Jesus. She's allowed to live. She's allowed to live. She will not die. She will live in the name of Jesus. We break all chains. We break every bondage. We break all works of Satan. Let it go. Leave, 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 le
Let her go, Satan. The Bible says she is the daughter of Natron. Abraham. Satan kept her bound. Come out, 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 out of her life, out of her life, out. You cannot resist. You cannot resist. Through the blood of Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus. Come out. Out. Let her go, let her go. Let her go, let her go. Let her go in the name of Jesus. Back your words to leave. Leave, 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 leave. Come out of her life. Come out of her mouth. Come out now. Let her go. Pray for her. Let her go. Pray for her. Every word of Satan, we come against all attacks of Satan. We come against all obstacles in the name of Jesus. 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 Every blockade. Every bondage. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Experience the healing of God in your life. Experience healing. All chains are breaking in your life in the name of Jesus. Come out of every captivity. Come out of every captivity in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Satan, you don't have a part in her life. Satan, we come against your works. This woman is allowed to live. And she will live. She's allowed to live and she will live. She's allowed to live and she will live. She's allowed to live and she will live. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. She will live. She will live. She will live. Death has no power. Death has no strength. Sickness has no power. Come out. Let her go and leave. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Oh Lord, give healing. Oh Lord, give healing. Oh Lord, give healing. Lord, give healing. Lord, give healing. Everywhere she has experienced injuries, everywhere she experienced pain, Lord, give the healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, we come against you, we're in the name of Jesus. This man is allowed to live. This man is allowed to live. He will proclaim the works of God. He will proclaim the works of God. This is his calling in the name of Jesus Christ. To proclaim the works of God. To do the plans of God in the name of Jesus Christ. The executing power of God is in you. The executing power of God. Place your hands here. He's about to leave. One, two, three. Out then, in the name of Jesus. Come out, come out, 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 out. Yes, he is going out. You come out in the name of Jesus. You come out in the name of Jesus. You come out in the name of Jesus. We come against all works and all bindings. We come against all chains. We break them, we break them, we break them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, you don't have a choice. You don't have power. You don't have might. You don't have power. Come out, 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 out. Leave, leave. Let her go. Yes, come out now. He's here. Come out, 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 out. Come out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out now. Leave. 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 Through the blood of Jesus. 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 You come out of her. Yes, he comes out. Out, 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 out. Leave. 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 Out. Leave. 
Place your hand here. In the name of Jesus Christ, come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. I bless your daughter. Everything that you receive from her mother shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Must be broken in the name of Jesus. Must be broken in the name of Jesus. So that the door of your life will be open. That all doors that were closed, they will open. In the name of Jesus, we come against our curses through the blood of Lamb. All curses are being broken. All chains are being broken. We proclaim over your children that the curses are breaking down. You have carried the children in the name of Jesus. And these children are born to serve God. These children are born to serve God. We come against the works of Satan in your life and the lives of your children. Which, uh, all, everything that tries to destroy, we come against them through the blood of the Lamb in the name of Jesus Christ. We destroy. We destroy. We destroy. We destroy. We destroy. We destroy through the blood of the Lamb. Be filled from the spirit of knowledge of inside. So that everything evil must get out of you now. Must get out of your life. You come out one of the other. Come out. Come out. You don't have a part nor right in her life. Because Jesus is the prince in her world, in her life. Jesus is ruling. Jesus reigns. Jesus reigns. Jesus reigns. The chains are falling down. All bindings are breaking down. All chains are breaking down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free from all attacks. From all attacks, from all attacks, from all attacks, be free, be free, be free. In the name of Jesus Christ, your children will be free. Free from all bondages. Your children will be free. Free from every curse. Your children will be freed from all false ways, from wrong ways that Satan has brought to the family. We come against it in the name of Jesus. We destroy the wrong ways and we proclaim that the children will come back to the Lord and that the children will serve God. This is the promise of God for your life. Your children will serve God. Your children will call the name of God. Your children will go the works, the ways of God. This is the will of God and we reject other ways. We reject other plans in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out. Wake up and go. Wake up and go. Wake up and go. And three. One through three. Come out and leave. In the name of Jesus Christ. You cannot control her life anymore. You cannot control her life anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible says a man cannot enter the house of a strong man and steal from him without finding him. We find you in the name of Jesus. And we command you, leave this house, leave this house, leave her family, her marriage, leave her children, and leave. Leave, leave. Pray, he will get out. Pray. Come out, 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 out. Let her go, let her go. Leave. Out of her heart. Leave her heart. It is the time of her healing. It's the time of her freedom. It's the time of God. Satan, we come against your works with the blood of the Lamb. It is written, you have come, overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Place your hand there in the name of Jesus. Come out now. Come out of her mouth. Out. Yes, come out. Well, everything out. Everything out. The works of witchcraft. All works of witchcraft that are bound in your soul. That are bound in your soul. Come out. Out, 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 out. Out. Satan, let go. Because at the cross of Calvary, Jesus has conquered the victory. Jesus has delivered her on the cross. Pack your works and leave. Leave now. You don't have anything to do here anymore. You don't have anything to do here anymore. You pray in authority here. Please pray, 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 pray. It's a battle. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Bichon, it's not over there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, hallelujah. I pray for my brother. 
every area where Satan has entered with his bondage and with his work. We come against it with the blood of the Lamb. We set you free from all bound bondage. We set you free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because he says, heal the sick. Set captives free in the name of Jesus Christ. All ca captivity is broken. You come out of the captivity in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of every spirit, every foreign spirit that is controlling your life should let go in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free to serve the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Experience freedom of God. Experience the breakthrough of God. Experience the power of God. Experience the power of God. Lord, rise up here. Rise up, O Lord. Rise up, O Lord. Rise up, O Lord. Rise up, O Lord. Rise up, Father. Be free. Be free. Be free. In your heart. In your thoughts. In your body. Be free in your house. Be free in your marriage. Be free in your family. Experience the freedom of God in your family. Experience the freedom of God in your marriage. Experience the freedom of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. While we are praying, when someone is feeling something in his body right now, come to the front quickly. When you feel something in your body, something that is manifesting, in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, on your hands, in the name of Jesus, when you feel something, come here to the front. Place your hand where you're feeling something right now. Place your hand where you're feeling something in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we come against all evil spirits that are manifesting. We command you to get out now. Get out now. In three, one, two, three. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Let him go and leave. Let him go and leave. Leave, leave, leave now. Let him go. Pack your words. Pack your seeds in the name of Jesus Christ. You've been you're defeated through the blood of the Lamb. Leave, 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 leave. Satan, pack your words and leave. Leave, 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 leave. leave, 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 leave. Pack your works. Yes, leave now, now. Leave. The works of the serpent are destroyed. The works of the serpent are destroyed. The works of the serpent are destroyed. By fire, by fire, by fire. I give you to three. You get out now. Through his mouth. One, two, three. Out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Leave. is the temple of the Holy Spirit. He belongs to Jesus Christ. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Let go. Let him 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 go. Leave, 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 leave now. Leave. You pray for him. Pray, pray, pray. Let him go and leave. Let her go and leave now. 
Now. Yes. Now. You cannot hide in this body. This body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Come out. Come out now. Come out. Come out now. Gay. Leave. Come out. Out, out. 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 Leave, 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 leave. Leave, leave. Place your hand on us. Throat here and command, 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 command. Where? In the name of Jesus, all works of Satan, go out, 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 we destroy all seeds of witchcraft, we destroy all seeds of witchcraft, yes, witchcraft, come out, come out, the seeds of witchcraft, come out, the seeds of witchcraft, come out, come out, leave, 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 leave in the name of Jesus, we come against the works of Python in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let go and leave. 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 Leave out and get out in the name of Jesus. All chains are broken. All destruction of Satan is destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Leave in the name of Jesus. Let go and leave. 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 Through the blood of the Lamb in the name of Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus. Come out. Yes, come out. Everything out. Yes, I can close. Yes, I can close. Yes, I can close. Yes, I can close. You cannot hide anymore. You're exposed. You're exposed. You're exposed. You're exposed. All works of witchcraft, all seeds of witchcraft, all works of witchcraft, all seeds of witchcraft, come out, out, out. Attack the spirit of witchcraft, you must get out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Place your hand here, here. In the name of Jesus. Pack your words. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Through fire. Through fire. Through fire. Pray, pray, pray. Come on. Out. Out. One, two, three. Out. Completely out. Completely out. Out, out, everything out, everything out, everything out. Through the fire, 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 fire. Through the blood of the lamb, through the blood of the lamb. Our works of the family, all seeds, all hidden seeds, get out, get out, 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 out. You're not allowed to stay in this body, you cannot stay in this body. You cannot stay here. You cannot stay here, come out. Out, out, out. Take your sicknesses, take your sicknesses. Take your curses, take your words. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. The door is open. Come out. Come out. The door is open. The door is open. Out, 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 out. In the name of Jesus, come out. You pack your works. You pack your works. Leave, 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 leave out. Get out now. Get out. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. 
We tear your clothes. We tear your works. We destroy your works in the name of Jesus. All of your pride is broken. Every work of Satan is broken. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Bitte. Larry, she must go to come to the front. You come here and pray here. Give me your hand. Now, you get out. Now, you get out. I give you until three. Look into my eyes. You go there. Look into my eyes. One, two, three. Out. Now. Leave. Leave. In the name of Jesus. Move and come out of the mouth. Take every sickness. Take every uh, thing at home. Every uh, problem at home and in her body. Get out of sight here. In the name of Jesus. Out. 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 It is a human spirit. It's doing witchcraft in our life. It's a human spirit. It's moving in the head. You must get out. In the name of Jesus. It's a human spirit. Wake her up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Out, out, out. Wake up and out. Wake up and out. Wake up and out. In the name of Jesus. Father, it is written, the Son of God has appeared to destroy the works of Satan. We destroy every inheritance, every wrong inheritance, every lie of Satan, her body and her soul and spirit. We come against it. Because the Bible said the light shines in the darkness. He came from his own, but his own rejected him. And everything who accepted everyone who accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. You're a child of God. Sold by the blood of the Lamb. You're a child of God. You have redeemed. You're saved. Satan has no power and no strength over your life and body and soul anymore. Come out now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. He's resisting. He's here in the face. He must get out from the face. Which area? In the name of Jesus, out. 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 Through the blood. 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 Through the blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You death spirit, come out now. Death spirit, come out. Go out in Jesus' name. Go leave in Jesus' name. Leave in Jesus' name. It is in the feet. You have to pray for their feet. We pray against every work of the enemy in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Yeah. We speak against every every work of the enemy is destroyed through the blood of Jesus through the blood of Jesus through the blood of Jesus we break against every work of the enemy we pray that there is a fire in his house a fire in his house in Jesus name every pain has to leave Lord we thank you that every pain will leave in Jesus name Lord we pray for healing Lord we pray for freedom freedom in Jesus name freedom in Jesus name Oh, my God.
Through the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. You leave with all your works in Jesus' name. Out of his mouth, right now in Jesus' name. Go out in Jesus' name. Every hindrance is broken. Every chain is broken. Every chain is broken. Leave him. One, two, three. Go with all your seats in Jesus' name. Leave him in Jesus' name. Leave him in Jesus' name, Yadava, the hand of the sun. Leave him in Jesus' name, Yadava, the hand of the sun. Let the hand of the sun, the hand of the sun, we proclaim that she is separated from her family in Jesus' name. Separated from her family in Jesus' name. And then you have to leave now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Go out now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Leave him. Leave him in Jesus' name. Everything has to leave him right now. Leave him right now in Jesus' name. The tree is open. The tree is open. The door is open right now, and you all of them have to leave now. Leave him now in Jesus' name. Every seed of the enemy. We separate you from your family, from every chain. Everything you have experienced in Jesus' name. We speak against in Jesus' name. The blood of Lamb in your soul in Jesus' name. Be free in Jesus' name. Be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. There's a spirit. Leave him now. Leave him now. Every chain is broken. Every chain is broken. Where do you feel pain in your hands? Spirit of death, you have to leave him now. Leave him now. Spirit of death, we speak against your works. We speak against your works in your family. Spirit of death, leave him now. His hands are very cold, it's the spirit of death. Leave now. You have to move now. In Jesus' name. 
Experience fire through fire through fire through fire through fire 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 Leave now, leave now, leave him now in Jesus' name. He belongs to Jesus. Pack your Leave him now. Your time is over. Your time is over. Your time is over. There's something strong. She has to leave him now. Mm. Leave her now. Leave her now. You have no right to be in her life. You have the right to control her life. You cannot kill her life. Christ in her, the hope of glory. The hope of glory. Christ in her, the hope of glory. Your time is over. We speak against your works. In the name of Jesus, we separate her from every chain, from every chain, from every, chain, from every, from every deep sickness, from every tiredness. Spirit of death, leave her now. She belongs to Jesus. She belongs to Jesus.
you were made wonderfully. You were made to fight like a Deborah. Mm. Every pain, every pain, I have to leave you now. The Lord says you were too long in the desert. It's a time of breakthrough. Yes, there's a prophetic gift in you. There's a big gift in you. Satan tried to destroy you so that you cannot achieve anything in your life. But today is the end of this works. No one can control your soul anymore because your soul is important for God. Oh, I can my pain, When I leave this world, I will go in pain. I can my pain. I will stay in pain <laughs> When I leave this world I will go in pain I came by pain I will stay in pain When I leave this world I will go in pain I came by pain I will stay in pain when I leave this world, I will go in pain. I can't buy pain. I will stay in pain. When I leave this world, I will go in pain. You can't buy pain. You will stay in pain. When you leave this world, you will go by pain. You came by pain. You will stay in pain. When you leave this world, you will live in pain. I came by pain. I will stay in pain. When I leave this world, I will go in pain. When you leave this world, you will go in pain. You came by pain. You will stay in pain. When you leave this world, you will leave by pain. You came by pain. <laughs> you will stay in pain. When you leave.
Is there anybody here who has to fight with hurt, with hurt, soulish hurt, 
and it comes um, the this same thoughts come again and again and he's accusing you with the same hurt and a rejection it is um, difficult for you to forgive every time you um, you see the people um, that that hurt you you feel unwell if you if you experienced hurt then please come here all those who have experienced hurt a lot of ex hurt and you fall easily into depression if you fall easily into depression as a, as a child you experienced um, violence or in marriage you experienced violence or your family experienced violence why do we pray often for broken hearted people because, because out of this hurt can come bitterness and so that, that Satan will not do these evil works in you because Isabel um, 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 comes because of uh, witchcraft comes because of bitterness out of the unhealed broken hearted hearts if you experience such such pain or such, such that you raise your voice name 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 all name all the people that have hurt you and say Paul John Martha Martin I forgive you in, in the love of Jesus even if you want to cry and, and want to scream while you and there's a there's a cry in you deep in you don't block it don't block it deliverance also happens because of screaming sometimes we are here in the house of our father don't be ashamed no one looks at you just the Lord looks at you if someone criticizes you or looks with critic eyes on you, they, did not they don't understand what it's about. I am not ashamed because I no longer live, but Jesus Christ lives in me. If you feel shame, if you feel shame or um, anger, you have hurt, have been hurt so, so, so much that you cannot stand any longer, you don't have any confidence, you don't trust anybody, you cannot love. Jesus can restore you. I am convinced that amongst you there are prophets and prophets and pastors. But that if we don't go through this process of healing, we don't we cannot do the works of God. Satan will always come according to Zechariah 3. They came he came to uh, um, accuse um, Joshua Joshua. And so raise your voice and start forgiving. Name all name um, the people, the person, and say, I forgive you. When your parents were not, um, did not care for you, they rejected you. There are people and parents, they call their own children as horse. You are uh, you're not precious. Your father um, treated you like the last um, dirt. You know, our parents often do what they have experienced themselves. The rejection is a circle. Do you know the image of the serpent that is biting in its own um, tail? And if we see this injection, we have to cut off, we have to cut the serpent and separate the serpent. Because if you're not healed, you will, um, you will do the same works the same seeds that are in you, you, your children will experience the same thing. When you experience exper um, rejection in your house, the seed is already there, so everywhere where you are, you are rejected. In your job, you are rejected. In the church, you are rejected. And you go from church to church and think, no one likes me. No, you have the mark of the rejection in you. And people did not see it. And the bitterness is there, the anger is there. You cannot trust anyone. There are people who don't even sleep at night and need medicine to do so. Uh, in the past, I prayed for for a sister who was a believer for 13 years and she could not sleep in the night. We prayed and God delivered her. God can deliver you. If you sleep with medicine or tablets, say, today is the day of my salvation. If you're always trembling because of fear and you stand in some, before something to say, today is my salvation. If you have fear of man, that you cannot stay or remain in marriage or you have fear 
uh, of marriage because you have seen a marriage that was bad of your parents, then say, Lord, um, cancel this image, this, uh, this wrong, this image of wrong marriage. Many people even go to homo into homosexual because they experience violence at home. The mother or uh, mother was treated by his by the father um, um, like the last third. A child of God cannot treat his wife or her husband badly. Say, Lord, for, say, forgive. Name, name the person and say, I forgive. I forgive. Name the person or your parents or your siblings, your work colleagues, your village, wherever you have been, you were, say, I forgive. Take this burden out of my heart. Take this burden out of my heart. Take this burden out of my heart. Say, if I see that person, that I can see that person with, uh, with the eyes of love, in your, with your love, from today on, I proclaim, my heart is free. My heart is free. My heart is free. Every person that I hold in prison I, I, um, because of unforgiveness, I let you go. I let, let, let all of you go. I let all of you go. I let all of you go. I let all of you go. My life will not go down. But it was start with Jesus. God um, writes a new chapter with me because I'm a child of God. And I belong to the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Raise your hands and say, Lord, fill me with the spirit of love, with the spirit of strength, with the spirit of meekness. Uh, fill me with the spirit of God. Take away the spirit of anger, the, uh, the spirit of bitterness, the spirit of fear, the spirit of mistrust, the spirit of doubt and of depression. Take it away from me. Away. Take away from me. Take it 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 away from me. In the name of Jesus. Now lay your hand on your belly. Why the belly? It's the area where the soulish um, hurt often uh, starts. Start, and it's also the spirit where the spirit hides, the spirit of rejection. I will call now the spirit of rejection. If it, if he is there, some of you will scream, cry even very loud. Others will um, come out of your mouth. They will leave you now, Father. In the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of rejection, and I command spirit of rejection, come out now, come out now, come out now, come out now, leave my sister, leave my brother. Spirit of rejection, out, 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 fear of rejection. Fear of rejection, out, out. Fear of people, come out, come out, come out. Bitterness, come out. Anger, come out. Anger, come out. Doubt, come out. Come out, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Let go and go, let go and go, let go and go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go now, go now, go now. You go under the feet of Jesus. You can no longer hold your hold. Go out, go out. This body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. This temple belongs to the whole to Jesus Christ. Come out in the name of 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 Jesus Christ. Rejection. Out, out. Every hurt has to go. Every the hurt are healed. The hurt is healed. The hurt will be healed. Let her go and go. Let her go and go. Go, 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 go. 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 Rejection out. Rejection out. Rejection out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out now. Out now. Out now. Out now. Out now. Rejection out. 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 Rejection out. 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 Rejection out. 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 Go. You are allowed to live. There's a spirit of suicide here and of death. Pray for her. Pray for her. Suicide and death. 
and someone already tried to commit suicide, the spirit of suicide and death has to leave you. If you only have thoughts of suicide, I command the thoughts to leave you. If you thought it's better to die, and you even proclaim it with your mouth, if you proclaim it with your mouth, I, I, it's better to die, I want to die, I break these words over your life, and I command the spirit of suicide and spirit of death and, and murder, come out of you, come out of you, come out of you. Suicide, come out. Suicide, come out. Come out. Come out. Rejection out. Rejection out. Rejection out. Self-rejection. Fear of rejection. Out. Satan. Satan, out. I give you on the count of three. One, two, three. Come out now. Come out of her life now. Jesus loved you first. Jesus died for you. Jesus paid the price for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every lie of Satan come out of you. It comes out of your life. Every lie, every spirit of lie come out. Every spirit of lie comes out. Come out. Spirit of lies come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Take your works and go. 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 Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Rejection out. Works of rejection out. Works of rejection out. We come against the works. You are not. You are not rejected. God loved you first. Jesus loved you first. Jesus died for you first. Jesus paid the price for you. Because when you live, it's because Jesus lives in you. He rebuilds your life. Rejection come out. Rejection come out. Every work of rejection, every seed of rejection, every self rejection come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out. Rejection out. Rejection out. You are not rejected. God loved you first. Every shame, every um, every belief of unworthiness, but leaves you. Rejection out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. In the name of Jesus. Go 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 Lay your hand up on your belly. She she has to leave. Rejection out. Every pain in the underbelly. We come against the works of rejection. We destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus loved you first. Jesus died on the cross of Golgotha for you. And the Bible says, Who is in Christ is a new creation. The, the old has passed. Everything became new in the name of Jesus Christ. Every works of Satan leave you now. You are not rejected. He loved you first. In the name of Jesus, every seed of rejection come out of your life. Come out of your life. Come out of your life. Come, come out. Comes out of you now. Rejection now. Out. Every seed of rejection leaves you now. Come out now. Come now. Come out now. You will no longer be rejected. You're not. Re you're not born to be rejected. You are born to be loved by Jesus Christ. Experience the restoration of God. He is in the underbelly. Rejection out. Rejection out. Rejection out. Say, say him he has to go. Rejection out. Come out of your heart. Rejection out. By the blood of the Lamb, through the the works of um, rejection are destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Bitterness out, bitterness out, anger out. Go now. Out, 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 out. Seed of rejection out now. Come home, come home, come, come out. Come home. Okay. Okay. Go now. Ich bin der Welt, der Abwehr und Fest. 
speaker came out of her that Jesus has her eyes to believe. Go out, go out. Every heart has to leave her. Every heart will be healed. Every heart will be healed. Come out in the name of Jesus. Tell him to go out. We come against the works of rejection. Come out, come out, come out. In the name of Jesus, receive the restoration. Receive the restoration of your heart and your life. Rejection in the name of Jesus, you are not rejected. Jesus loved you first. Every works of uh, rejection leave you now. God heals the heart. God heals your heart. God heals your heart. Every work of rejection come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. In the name of Jesus Christ, go out, go out, go out, guys, guys, guys. Come out the wood house. Come out the living house. Come out in the name of Jesus Christus. Come out in the name of Jesus Christus. Last the lost game. Let her go and go. She's a child of God. She's a rejection out. Rejection out. Seed of rejection. Works of rejection. Come out. The power of God is delivering her. The power of God is healing her. The power of God is working in the name of Jesus. Pray for her. Rejection out in the name of Jesus. You are healed. You are free. All works of rejection leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ. All works of rejection. God didn't reject her. Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus loves you. Experience restoration. Experience the power of God. Experience restoration. Spirit of uh, rejection out. Rejection out. Rejection out. Rejection. Pack your words. All words of rejection get out in the name of Jesus. All rejection get out. Out, 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 out in the name of Jesus. Out, out, out. All seeds of rejection. All words of Satan. Leave, 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 leave. All the demonic altars are being destroyed. All the demonic altars are being destroyed. All the demonic altars are being destroyed. Altars of rejection are being destroyed. Altars of rejection are being destroyed. Rejection come out, 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 out. Out. Rejection. Every rejection is destroyed by the blood of the Lamb. The works of rejection are being destroyed by the blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus Christ. The seeds of rejection are being destroyed in the name of Jesus. No one can, is allowed to reject you because Jesus doesn't reject you. No one is allowed to reject you because Jesus loved you first. He has died on the cross of Calvary for you. He has paid the price for you in the name of Jesus. Rejection in the name of Jesus. The works of rejection. Leave your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Rejection come out. Rejection come out. Rejection come out. Rejection come out. Come out, out, out. Let go, let go. Let go in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave. Leave. Every altar of the family is destroyed. The altar was initiated. Where the family was initiated, the altars are destroyed. Come out. Come out! The altar is destroyed. The satanic altar. The satanic altar. Fire! 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 All the altars are catching fire. Fire! 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 The seeds of the serpent in the womb come out. The seeds of the serpent come out. The seeds of the serpent get out. The seeds of the serpent get out. The seeds of the serpent get out. Get out! The tree is open. The serpent is coming. Seeds of the serpent. 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 In the womb. In the womb. In the womb. In the womb. In the Seeds of the serpent get out. Destroying the altars in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You get out. You get out. You get out. Yes. 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 Get out now. We move to the top. And go out. I give you until three. The devouring fire will come upon you. One, two, 
three no, sir, out no, now no, in the name of Jesus Christ. This is how they talk to Abraham. She's a daughter of Abraham. She's allowed to live and not die. 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 So you should take your works and you should leave. Rejection. The family and the marriage is broken. Rejection and the marriage is destroyed. Through the blood of the Lamb. 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 Serpent, come out. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Come out. The works of the serpent come out. And the pains of the childhood. Everything is you've experienced as a child. Everything you've experienced as a child. Everything you've experienced as a child. God has forgiven. God removes every tiredness, every emotional tiredness, every depression. In the name of Jesus, depression, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out! Come out! No one will hurt you anymore. No one will hurt you anymore. No one will hurt you anymore. Jesus has the control. Jesus has taken the control. Jesus has the has control. They separate from his soul in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless her life and bless her. Bless her. Bless her. Bless her. Bless her. Bless Marion, bless her. Bless Marion, bless her, bless her. Bless her. We will, not today, but we will plan to pray for her. We must pray intensively for a few people here. But we have the seminar of deliverance next week. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. While the Holy Spirit is still working through our brothers. Something is coming out. Our brothers and sisters are being delivered from every captivity. While we're praying for you, it can be that at home something happens. Your children who are not here, that they experience healing and deliverance, that something happens in your home. Because sometimes through the deliverance of a father or mother, something is moving in the family, especially when there were a lot of unclean spirits in, this, in, the, emo, in the soul. Because the soul connections are connected in the whole family. So when a parent brings something, it can hit the whole family. And when we pray for one, many people can experience the deliverance. God is the God of miracles. We trust Him. Amen. We believe that God is working on something today. We thank the Lord. Even if everything looks chaotic, but we love it. Amen. Because it is one from God. We want it. Amen. Hallelujah. So we want to finish. Amen. We want to finish so that our brothers and sisters from South America can also start in the name of Jesus. Next week, Friday, 7 p.m., it starts with deliverance teaching. We make an introduction so that everyone just learns what is deliverance, why is deliverance, which areas of life of a human we know that the soul and body are often being inhabited from demons. The spirit can only be inhabited from one spirit, either the Holy Spirit or a family spirit or a leader spirit, an evil one. And I beg you, when you go through deliverance, go home, make an introduction of your life and look at your life, your parents, your family. When at home, something like pandalum or reading cards, Ouija board, Freemasons, uh, worshipping of Mary or angels or such things have been done. Note these things and pray and say yourself loose from everything you've experienced in the family, from the parents and grandparents. It's very important. We'll look at it on Friday. We will see how many Christians live under bondage without knowing it. Many Christians are living in a captivity. Being born again doesn't mean that demons flee away. No, they don't flee away because you're born again. They flee away when you command. This is why he says, cast out demons. This is what we will do next week, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Amen. Here in this place, heaven. So we finish uh, soon. We go to the neighbor room. Then we have community. When you have questions, I'm still here for a few minutes. And then... <laughs> Amen. 
Amen. Are you awake? Halleluja. Amen. Halleluja. It's so wonderful how the Lord is working. It's so wonderful how the Lord is speaking. Hallelujah. We want to collect the offering for finishing. I want to sing a song about for this. Here in the front, at the left and right, we have uh, bag baskets where you can give your offerings to. So be blessed for everything you have on your heart to share. Now, I wanted to share that we are here on Tuesday, and on um, Tuesday on uh, 7 p.m., and also on Thursday, and then we start Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have this um, service of um, deliverance for three days. We also have flyers on WhatsApp, um, invite people. We want to experience the Lord. This was just a foretaste of what is to come, and there is more to come. And we also want to prepare for the times of fasting, 4th of November. I want to bless you also with Psalm 91, and I want to read it out for you so that you can start into the new week. Psalm 91. Er findet Ruhe im Schatten des Allmächtigen. Der spricht zu dem Herrn, du bist meine Zuflucht und meine Burg, mein Gott, dem ich vertraue. Denn er wird dich vor allen Gefahren bewahren und dich in Todesnot beschützen. Er wird dich mit seinen Flügeln bedecken und du findest bei ihm Zuflucht. Seine Treue schützt dich wie ein großes Schild. Fürchte dich nicht vor den Angriffen in der Nacht und habe keine Angst, vor den Gefahren des Tages, vor der Pest, die im Dunkeln lauert, vor der Seuche, die dich am hellen Tag trifft. Wenn neben dir auch Tausende sterben, wenn um dich herum Zehntausende fallen, kannst du dich, kannst dir doch nichts geschehen. 
Um, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and of, from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with, a pit, with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and, and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes waste, waste us at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, then ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense, recompense of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague um, come near you, tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up and so on and so forth until the end with long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation with this you I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ bye he who the sun sets free is free indeed so we say
Let's do it one more time. Come on. Check it, lip. check it, check it, lip. check it. Aha. It's worthy of our praise. Lord, we give you glory. 